Well, hello, Allie. How are you? I guess we're gonna we're gonna get a relatively quick start to the day. I gotta pick up my dad later today. He's uh he's flying in, which is cool. Uh you wanna sleep today? Sure, not a problem, 2020. Not I appreciate you stopping by to even say hello. That's really, really uh really thoughtful of you. I appreciate it. Always always a blessing, thank you. Um should I? I should probably try and farm like another humanity so that way I can kindle that fire again. That way I've got a 15 stack going into this fight. That's probably smart. Um, Ali, what are you up to today? How are you? You wonderful human, you. You wonderful human of humaning. You great human wanderer. 2020, did you get any sleep last night? I hope so. Oh! Ansika, hello. Welcome back. Happy to have you back here. How are you doing today? Do 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 do. So um, I'm I'm trying to I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. I'm trying to uh, for anyone who might not have been here yesterday, um, we made it to Sense Fortress, and I'm currently trying to do the second kindling in order to kindle the fire up by the blacksmith so that that way I don't have to worry about not having that 15 stack. I think it'd be really smart for me to be able to pull that off. So um, I'm kind of running around down here uh, real fast just to see if I can I can make that work without too much of a difficulty and um, go from there. So uh, right now I'm just kind of uh, on my way down to like little different areas, grab some, you know, excess souls, grab some humanity maybe, you know, get some humanity from some random objects and and uh, work up from there. Um, I could go like probably kill some rats. Uh, if you're already down, you can kill the Hydra. So after Duke's Archive, you can unlock the DLC. Wait, the DLC? I don't have any D DLC. Uh, I don't have any DLC for this. I, I, does it, like, I don't have the remastered version or anything. I guess this is just the normal. Someone was helping me kind of work that out the other day. DLCs, is it, oh, it's in the game? Like, automatically? That's kind of interesting. I mean, normally that's not how DLC would work. Interesting. Can I get this person to come up near me up here? Hello? Hello? Captain Giant. It's not the remastered version. This is just the. This is literally just the standard version. We kind of worked that out the other day. Um, for whatever reason, I I I think it, like I don't know what causes me to have that. Oh wow, these guys are way easier than I thought. I thought these guys were gonna be like. I mean, maybe they hit really really hard. But yeah, so um, I guess with the remastered version, one of the tricks that someone taught me is that, like, let's say hypothetically I have this on. If I just hold down, it's supposed to bring me to the Estus Flask, which it does not. So they said I just have the core version, which, you know, I don't know what or how I have what I have. I just know that I do not have the remastered version based off of what people are saying. Ow. Is that coming from the... Oh, that's coming from that Hydra, that boss. Okay, well, time to go. So I, I must I must not have it, um, you know, all things considered, which, you know, may be really, really hurtful for me, I guess, because like, you know, obviously, since I don't have it, there might be weapons or things like that that I can do that I just don't have the opportunity or will never have the opportunity to do, you know. No big thing. No big sweat. All right, I'm going to go. I, I kind of don't want to fight this guy, but I'm going to see how he how he pans out. Just uh, just to see, um, which, by the way, what have you uh, what have you been up to, Ansika? Have you been uh, have you been playing anything or doing anything in particular? Any games got your got your attention? TV shows got your attention? I don't know if anyone's seen the. Uh, the new Black Widow movie either, but I hear good things about, wow, literally one shot, one shot. 
This guy's outrageous. Um, yeah, I don't know if anyone, um, if, if anyone's seen it yet, but I hear it's been doing well. I mean, like, it's been doing well in theaters. So far, they're up, like, 213 million, which is, that's a, a hefty sum of money. Um, I just finished exams, so I want to binge something. Do you have any recommendations? Okay, do, do you have any genres that you like? Um, and then are we talking, like, you want more of, like, the relaxing, like, TV experience? Or uh, you're looking for something that you want to play, like interactive, or like what 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 type of content might you be looking for right now to enjoy? Even if you like, let's say you want to play a game, I mean, we can try and narrow down like, oh yeah, I would definitely go and recommend this. Oh, I don't like you know that kind of a game. Oh, okay, no big deal. Like I mean, we'll come up with something. Anything, I'm open to anything. Um, have you seen the Money Heist TV series? Um, it was available via Netflix. Uh, I think it was. I think it was Netflix. No, oh, all right, so it's a really slow start, right? Like, the first couple episodes are kind of like, eh, I really don't know if I'm going to get into this, but once it goes, oh, like, m my girlfriend and I really could not put that down, and not a lot of TV really gets me interested. It was good. Like, I wanted to consistently watch more. Um, however, it is a dub. I know people, I mean, depending on what your language base is, I don't know, but um, for me, it was a dub, so... Um, I had to watch it, you know, with English subtitles, um, but it was well worth it. Well worth it. It was a really, really good series. And I honestly, I cannot wait for them to come back with more. And it's got a really kind of an interesting Rocky past. Um, so basically what had happened is the show had started and it was on TV and it just didn't get renewed. Um, and so what ended up, I guess, occurring is that basically you had... Um, a TV series that just didn't really take off, didn't really do well, didn't resonate with people. And um, Netflix decided to pick it up and they just took off. I mean, like they, they said, no, we're going to shoot another series. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to change it up a little bit. And the show just has catapulted. Um, I think they just got like a breath of fresh air and really, really hit the right, the right tones by creating more invested or interesting moments within the series and that really just drove it home i i loved it i loved it 10 out of 10 would recommend and i'm sure we've got i know that we have other people that originally had recommended it to me that were here within the community and they were like oh you have to go and watch this and i was like okay so we went and finally watched it i sat down with the girlfriend and spent some time and i think we finished the series in maybe like two weeks or something uh, by the way, I just read online you have DLC in this version. In the standard one? Yeah, but do, do you have to pay for it, though? So, like, the remastered versions, or, like, you know how they do, like, Game of the Year editions? Um, I feel like those are the common ones where you have the DLC that's already included in the game. Whereas if you haven't paid for it, then, you know, of course, you don't, you don't have it, which is why it's downloadable content. But I don't think I have anything added to this game in terms of like add on content or anything like that. I don't, I don't think so. I'm not positive though. It, it could be, but I don't remember that being the case. Let me just sneak around this side, get back up here. I'm, I'm going to go, um, I'm going to go around towards those like larger things since those are pretty easy to kill. Not that those golem things weren't, but Oh, Shep. Yep. I don't even know where I am. I have no idea where I am. No, kill Hydra, then you go to Duke's archive and find a broken pendant so you can unlock it. Antoine, my dude. How are you? How is your weekend? How is everything going? How are the preparations? Dude, I'm just so proud of you. I'm so, I'm so excited for your future. Like, holy crap, dude. Talkative one, thank you so much for the host. Greatly appreciate that as well. Thank you, guys. What is What does Talkative one think about all this? Oh, man, she's got to be, like... She's got to be, like, probably partially anxious because, like, I mean, between work and then school and doing everything, like, full-time, oh, Maggie would just... I know Maggie would hate it. Is my stuff down there? My stuff's down there, isn't it? Oh no, it's back here. It's somehow behind me? Even though I died right over there? 
Okay. Oh, I'm biased. Oh, I know you are. Uh, Casa de Papel. Yes, yes, yeah. That's that's um that's money heist. Yes. Yeah, you guys are gonna crush it. You're you're like one of the best teams out there. You know what I mean? Like, ain't ain't nothing, ain't nothing getting in the way. You guys are gonna be just fine. I got I got full faith that you know you guys are gonna gonna handle the situation of of um you know being a little bit more pushed with you know working and school and everything a little bit more pushed um than most people would most couples would have to deal with yeah i've been planning to watch it yes please do please you're gonna if you're looking for something to binge at all in general i really do think that you would like it i think most people would end up liking it now don't get me wrong i'm sure that there are for sure people out there um that wouldn't be interested or, or won't like it, won't like the series. But I, I think for the most part, a lot of people will end up enjoying that that film set or that series set. I think. Whoa, what? What the hell is this? There's trees I can kill? What is this? No one told me about this place. Where am I? Whoa. This is all new. I definitely found something new. It's all brand new, a whole ass, a whole new world to kick my ass. <laughs> both, both are in the same room. Yeah, I know, right? That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Listen, I just appreciate you guys being here more than anything else. That's, that's what, that's what counts to me. It makes all the difference. It makes all the difference in the world when you can tell I've played far too much Half-Life. Wow, rude. How are the kids? How's everything going on the kid front? Oh, come on. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. Okay, let me let me let me reset a little bit. Figure out what I got to do here. Okay, so he's half health. Nice, nice. Uh, that thing that just tongued you, how do you feel about that, dude? Tong tonguing me? That's okay. They're allowed to, they're allowed to tongue, tongue me. Uh, yeah, they're doing great. Back in a program to socialize and be kids. I must have missed something, Antoine. I feel like I should be more upset by this, but I'm not. And I don't know what's wrong with me. It, it's all right. Is there? There's like some sort of sex joke in here I'm missing, right? <laughs> something's something's not right. All right, we'll work on that. Where does this? Is this just a pit of destruction and death? Or okay, so I'm gonna go back towards this like 
alcove that was over here with the stairwell that goes up? Because I've never been up here. Maybe you need more coffee. I've got the coffee. I'm just I'm I missed I missed something somewhere. I missed the convention. It's the convention of newbies and I missed out on all of the things. Oh wait, I'm like underneath the butterfly. A wolf ring? What is the wolf ring? Oh, I'm on the opposite side over by that pit of death and destruction. Oh, change equipment. Okay, I think. Boost poise? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Definitely doing that. All right, on, on my way back down. You guys have any fun plans for the week? Wait, when is it that you start, Antoine? You start like the 20th or something like that, right? Is that right? The 27th? I feel like it was like one of those weekends. Have you been, have you been like studying at all? I got to get you those books, dude. That way you've got more materials to look at. Orientation on the 20th, but start on the 20th. So I was pretty, pretty much right on. You start on the 20th and the 27th. I'm just remembering both dates. Work, work, work. How do you like it? How do you like it? Work, work, work pretty much what we're what we're up against Antoine should be twerk 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 then it's like far more enjoyable did he get that off no 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 he didn't get that off okay I've got to get in and kill this guy oh there's two of them of course there's two of them Of course there's two of them. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here, Captain Tree Man. Okay, okay. Come down here. Come down here. Did he get that off? No. No, no, no. The second guy's not up. Okay, that works. That works, so I just go over here. Pick up this. Pick up this. Get this. Oh. Nice. Nice. Easy sweat lobbies. Discord notification almost 20 minutes late. Oh, that's great. That's exactly what I want from, from everyone and for everyone in the community. That's why Sammy's always mad. She's like, I didn't get any notifications. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't help with that. And she's like, well, I mean, you can. You could just, like, text me and tell me that you're online. And I'm like, yeah, but, like, what? what? <laughs> wait, wait, what? These guys, I feel, I feel like I'm really cheap. Like I'm just, I'm just blasting on them. Like they don't even have a chance. I feel terrible about it. I don't feel terrible. I just, I feel mildly bad. Excuse me. Hello. <laughs> I think they're just really slow. Yeah, they are. They are really slow. They are definitely very slow. Text each and every one. Oh my gosh. Just at everyone like a Discord. Just at, at everyone on Discord. That's I feel like that's the odd the easy way out. So many numbers, I know, right? That'd be that'd be terrible. I'd just be setting myself up for failure. People would be like coming to my house after like looking up my information, all sorts of stuff. That'd be bad. That'd be all all bad. Wow. Well, and some people are probably like multiple accounts. Let's be real. I've had like what a person come in and then they like come in and follow me with their bot. And then they're like, hey, I followed you with my bot. And I'm like, OK, thank you. 
Am I supposed to be upset by it, or...? <laughs> I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Little things. Let's see. How do I get over here? Um... So Smurf, I wanted to tell you, Antoine, Smurf got Battlefield finally working. Um, I texted him about it, and he said, like, whatever happened with the Windows update or whatever occurred, EA fixed or, you know, whatever, like, now all of a sudden I can play Battlefield. And I was like, oh, cool, maybe we can work out, like, a day this week or something like that that we can get some time in. Unfortunately, Antoine's about to have, like, literally no time for games. He's going to end up being a competitor by tomorrow in COD. A whole, a whole thing. Wait, why am I, like, glowing? What did I... View status? Why Why am I glowing? I want to know what happened to me that I'm glowing. Why can't I see that? Like, there's very, very evidently a buff on me, and I have no idea what it does. Hey, what's up, Lando? How are you? Uh, I've had to make accounts because me and passwords don't mesh. Oh, Maggie to a T. Maggie to a T. Every single time she she gets like one password problem at all. And she's like, I don't even remember what I put for this. I'm like, girl, you need like uh, one of those save password things through Chrome or Internet Explorer, you know, whatever. Or like write them down on a slip of paper and put it in the safe. Like do something. Sunday do. Hello. How are you? Welcome back. I know, right? Same thing. Literally same thing. Any any time that there's a problem whatsoever, it's done. It's game over. It's game over, Meggie, always. Same same issue. Have to ask my boss for my login info so I know when I clocked in and clocked out. Savage. Yeah, that's 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 bad news bears right there. That's like the exact person that you don't want to have to ask as well, because then they're like, uh, yeah, so why don't you remember your information? Because like, that's actually really important to do your work. So are you suggesting that you can't do your work? And they're like, uh... Sorry, how are we going to alleviate this problem in the future? Excuse me. Thank you. You got a new game? Sunday Duke, what did you get? I really want to get, um... I really want to get the Sniper Elite VR, but I'm still, I've got to get my VR replaced or swapped out because of the battery charger. Um, the one thing I did see last night, I saw the caustic trap as a desktop item. Oh my gosh. I, I just, I could not, I saw that and I was like, oh, I need this in my life. It looks so good. It looks so good. It makes me want to, like, go work for, like, 12 days straight so that that way I can afford to pay for it. Because, you know, it's not just me getting the trap, but it's me being able to pay for the rest of my bills as well. <laughs> okay, there we go. Whatever. That's fine. This is fine. Neo 2? Nice. I, I think I have Neo 1 as well as uh, Bloodborne. Um, I haven't played Bloodborne, which, you know, fine. Uh, I have yet to play that, but I'm interested in playing it. And then also, um, I think I have Neo. So uh, among those games that kind of have like a very punishing style effect to, you know, like an RPG action game, um, I'm really excited about a couple of them, especially coming out of this and really, really enjoying it. I think that we'll have some fun with games like that. I think that they're going to be, you know, like seriously a lot of fun. You should play Sekiro too. It's fun. I, I don't remember if I got Sekiro. I don't think I did. I think I only got Neo because I think Sekiro was still newer when I bought my PlayStation. So like I bought the PlayStation and then I think like 10 to 20 titles. No, no, it's probably like 10 titles. Um, 10 titles that were like exclusives all at the same time because they were like five to $10 a piece. So I just bought like a whole collection of them. Lando, what have you been up to lately? Um, also, Sunday Duke, have you started playing it yet? Or you just like, like you just got back and you, you're in the process of like installing it or getting into it or, you know, something like that. 
But I do want to play Sekiro, um, you know, as another, like, FromSoft game. I think I'll enjoy it, you know, coming out of this. Um, I, I want to play Dark Souls 3 as well. I don't have that version. I don't have that game. Um, but, you know, I'll, I'm, I'm going to see if maybe we can get our hands on it for cheap, like a, a Steam code or something. Uh, hey, what's up, Paterna? Welcome back. Happy to have you back here. Hopefully you're having a great day. Oh, let me just pick that up real quick. So I'm trying to get my second humanity still. I've got the first one so that that way I can reverse the hollowing. But I need the second one so that that way I can kindle. I can Amazon kindle slice. All right, rat. I hear you guys have good humanity. I don't want to use a humanity. I, I would rather just get it naturally. I did want the painted version. Antoine, don't... Don't do anything crazy. Did you, don't do anything crazy. You got a lot going on. Don't do that. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You've got school and kids and every... All right. Yeah, but you... you Listen. You're a smart... You're a smart coder. You know ways to find, one, information, and two, probably to search through Discord. I think I... I think I had sent that through Discord. It was probably through Discord. I don't remember. You've already done enough with that graphics card alone. Get Get out of here. I'm going to have to, like, use some of the money that I've been mining to buy you something nice. Send you some cookies or something. And then, like, another batch of cookies on top of it. <laughs> Got him. Come on, where's my second humanity? So how many people have played Sekiro and um and Neo? Or one or the other? How many people have played Neo? And how many people have played Sekiro? Let me just ask that. It's probably easier if I ask it that way. He loves to keep busy. I know. Antoine really does. Just send send me a Bitcoin and we'll call it even. Wow. Wow. It's gonna be a long time before I get a Bitcoin. One single, singular unit of coining. That's a long time out. Now, I did say, I told Maggie, I was like, listen, if I can get an opportunity to buy a 3090, I'm going to. Because I'm going to put that in my other computer. I'm going to put it in my stream computer. And then I'll just run both machines at the same time. I know. I, the, the mining that you would get from it alone would pay for the card. It's outrageous. It's literally, it's outrageous. How am I supposed to kill that? Someone said some, whoa, someone said something about like a glitch spot. But yeah, I, I feel you on wanting one. I definitely feel you on wanting one. All right, we're going to do this just to make sure I'm topped off. Go back and kill a couple of these guys real quick. I might be able to afford one endurance build too, like one level up, which would be good. I need some more arrows. I'm kind of running out of a bit of those. So Sekiro only? Do we have anyone else who's played any of the other titles like Neo or anything like that? Anyone else? Is there anything I should do to prepare for those titles? Like, just continue to play Dark Souls, and if you feel like you're comfortable with Dark Souls, just continue cracking on. Like, you're, you're gonna be fine. Or is it something far more difficult than that? Like, hey, um, Sekiro's gonna be harder than Dark Souls. And you're not gonna have a good time. <laughs> Sekiro combat is super hard. Okay. 
Is there anything else to compare it to? NVIDIA has ruled this space for so long with very little competition relatively. Yeah, no, I mean, in AMD for a couple times, it, it seemed like they might be coming up with something, something to make an impact on the GPU world, and then they just don't deliver. Like, they're like, oh, yeah, like, check out these stats, and then when, like, people actually get the cards, it's like, yeah, that's nowhere close. Like, this was ideal circumstances on every front, and it just doesn't perform. It's like me in bed, you know? Just doesn't perform. It's all talk. All talk, no delivery. No rendering. No teraflops. <laughs> all talk, no flop. <laughs> she must really love you. She does really love me, though. She definitely does. That's that's a one. That's a one hundred. 100. Oh my, what? Two raids at the exact same time? How is that real? A cup of Kerba, an extra 99Q? You, did, did you, did you guys plan this? Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Dwellers gets out. Oh, Shep. I wonder if it's gonna do two raids at the same time. I bet it probably doesn't trigger because there's, it's already doing one. What are the odds? Kerba extra 99. Thank you guys so much for sharing your communities with us. How are you today? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the vaults. So thrilled. So thrilled. We aren't coordinated enough for that. Listen, that was, that was, that's a first. That's, that's a literal first. I don't know if that'll ever happen again. Hashtag I was there. I don't think that's ever even happened on Mixer. Like my entire time streaming ever. I don't think that's ever occurred. I don't think it will. Like unless I got to the point where I was like shroud or something, you know, like and then there's no alerts because you're too big. You can't you can't have that happen. Like no one's even going to know what's even going to know what's happening. They're just like, I mean, yeah, it I got 19 raids at the same time. Lol. What else am I going to do, you know? I can only imagine what that's like being inside of that position where, you know, you have like 50 some odd mods working at the same time because you have no other opportunity, no other choice. Like you have to have people to protect your community. And like you're just constantly seeing messages pop up that don't have anything to even do with chat. Man. Talk about a great place to be, though. Like you can afford to pay your mods. Ooh, that's the life. That's the life. If you're looking for a humanity, you can kill an NPC to get it. I don't want to kill an NPC, though. I know, right? I wish Antoine... Dude, Antoine, if we ever get there, you're going to be the first to know. You and Smurf, you guys are going to be... You guys are going to be there. You guys are going to be there. Someone said um, rats are an easy way to get humanity. Is there any other creature that's like an easy way to get humanity? Eterna, do you know? Or does anyone know? Or do I need to, like, go all the way back down into that, like, weird sex dungeon den? Every time I play this game, I kill them all. Oh, really? Wow. I don't want to kill NPCs. I don't like killing NPCs. I'm not an NPC killer. I just, I don't, I can't stand doing that. I feel like that's extremely rude of me. You know, I'm always one of those, like, I'm a ranger, I'm a good guy, you know, that kind of a thing. All right, I just got to sneak up on this guy now. Got him. All right. There's those rats that are down in the dungeon over here. I did. I did see the 301. And they all look good. They've got a couple extra ones. Extra 99. Thank you so much. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you have a great day. Um, if you get some food and you decide to come back. Uh, 
we'll be here hanging out. If you know anything about Dark Souls, we can always use the help. And again, thank you so much for the raid. Hopefully your day is fantastic. If not, feel free to shoot me a message. Always happy to hear about it. Jacob, hello. It's okay to kill only after you've completed their entire quest at least once. Okay, I mean, I guess that makes sense because then you're like, okay, I know that what they give me at the end of this is completely worthless for how I'm doing my build right now. So what's the point on me continuing on if I know I've, I've got nothing from it? <laughs> I would gas gas enjoy the lurk. Um, it's almost 11 p.m., so I'm about to go to bed. I'll definitely be here another stream. Not a problem. Extra 99. Have a great night. I would have to create, like, a glass or, like, a plastic, clear plastic container that looks like a garbage can, and I would just stick it on the shelf back here. So that way people could just stare at it and be like, is that an octane stem in a garbage can? I'd be like, absolutely it is. <laughs> so I, I made this joke earlier, Antoine. And, uh... Bear with me. Bear with me. Everyone's going to love this, right? And so I was sitting there talking to Maggie, and I was like, you know, sometimes you get in that heat of the moment where you're in an intimate situation with your significant other. And, you know, you're getting close, and you're trying to stave that off in any way that you can. I said, my secret, Maggie, my secret is that I think about Octane mains. Like, it just dials it way back for me way back like you don't have to breathe you don't have to do anything you're just like whoop reverted like it's like i just started and then you know you get close again and you start thinking about octane mains boom done you're you're good to go for like another 10 minutes 20 minutes whatever it takes i don't know little things just just pro tips pro tips from a streamer think about the worst build that you can ever come up with and you'll last longer in bed. It'll work every time, guaranteed. It's got the ham stamp of approval. The ham stamp. <laughs> Talking of ones like, oh, oh, great. Now, now Antoine's going to be thinking about People who use um, people who use knives in Warzone and run around with bats, and that's their build. Oh, uh, I kind of forgot about that. If I'm being honest, Eterna, you you kind of reminded me. <laughs> I think there might actually be a line there. Um, so what you're think what you're saying is you think about Octane in bed? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it just turns me off. For sure. Yeah, I mean like what it's like one of the greatest ways that you can you can just persist. Duh. You do what it takes, you know what I mean? I don't know I don't know how many how many people are on the reverse end of the spectrum there, but you know, when you when you when you want to finish that out This stream is lit. Never would I ever expect talkative one. Never would I ever. Never have I ever talkative one. Antoine's like, you better not. Got him! I got him! Got him! I might just have to use a humanity anyways. You're lit! I know, right? Right? Jacob, I probably am. I probably have imbibed some sort of alcohol and I'm not even aware of it. You're 100%. 100%. Alright, so I'm gonna do this. We're just gonna do it the... the crazy cheap way. Offer humanity. Reverse my hollowing. 
And then we're going to kindle so that that way we get the 15 stack. Jacob, sorry we didn't get any opportunities to play some Warzone. It's in your DNA and you don't know it. Oh, the alcohol and I'm just always lit. I get that. I get it. No, that makes sense. Yeah, just minding my own business, just walking around and... I'm, I'm doing things that don't make any sense and I'm saying things that should not be said. I ate like 68% of a huge watermelon. How do you gauge that you've eaten 68% of a watermelon? And first off, f first off, second off, why the hell did you not just round up to 69? At that point, something is wrong with you. 100%. 100%. Just to make people mad, you know? Well, it's working. Because you should know, and anyone should know, that if there is an opportunity to 69, you do it. And then you follow up immediately by saying nice. What? Ah! I love how it's dead and so am I. Like, I killed it first and then technically they were like, swipe. So actually, Antoine, I'm actually gonna get you a 30-30 or a peacekeeper. I love how you've just, you're like, I'm gonna get you a peacekeeper, a wingman, an octane stim, and that's it. That's your loadout, that's your build. Do you like Iron Maiden? Is that a real question? Iron Maiden? Of course. <laughs> of course I like Iron Maiden. No, no, no. The Mozambique's pretty decent right now. It's not great, but it's decent. All right, so listen. I'm actually a metalhead through and through. Little, little cadence to the song that you're talking about right now. Just, just saying. Anyways, I'm a metalhead. I grew up listening to Metallica and Iron Maiden and Judas Priest. And I know Judas Priest's a little like you know. Some people can argue that that's not actually metal, but you know whatever. Like that that dense rock. You know, what's my favorite band? That is a tough question to answer. Like, honestly, I envy people who have a definitive quick answer for what is your favorite musical artist or band or whatever, right? Like, because I don't know. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, like uh, my favorites, I don't know, Johnny Cash or, you know, whatever, like whatever people say. I don't know. I know. And here I am like, well, I mean, if we're talking about the overall artistic value of 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 the individual or the band, like I definitely think that this is one of the better artists within the space because of their ability to work and use lyrics and poetically weave them into music. And then they're like, yeah, but like if you really want to jive, you just want to just 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 vibe with some music like this is a good band. Like I just. I don't know how people come up with just like, hey, this is my end all be all musical artist. I don't get that. But I mean, there's a lot. Liquid Stranger, Infected Mushroom, Metallica, like tons, tons of artists. I don't even know what country I'm in. Yes, that's 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 a great answer. What's your favorite band? Yes. I don't know. I, I there's there's genres that I never really got into, like um, you know the uh, the boy band era, you know the British invasion that kind of a thing. I never got into that. Um, I, I never got into the the revival through like you know the '90s 2000s boy band stuff. I never liked that either. Um, that was never my cup of tea. Um, but most metal bands, most EDM artists, um, classical music. Um, 
swing era, like, you know, 50s. That kind of stuff, the Andrews sisters and Frank Sinatra and all that. Like, I love that stuff, too. Like, there's just, there's a lot of music that I just way too much. I, I enjoy incredibly too much. Well, that's cheap. I'm dead. I'm dead. After I got hit the one time, I'm dead. Uh, I like metal music a lot too. Yeah, I think that there's the 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 there was a story actually that was recently published or an article that was was recently published about the research that had been done on uh, metalheads, and sometimes they're among the least welcoming within a genre, but they're most likely to be uh, relaxed and like least depressed and a whole bunch of other stuff, like they enjoy things and they have good dopamine releases and they sleep well and like you know just life in general is good for them and i was like that's really interesting because i feel like that's not what's portrayed in the lyrics at all like at all um listen i think i think that there are some good good songs from Metallica after the Black Album, even through Reloaded. But I don't think it's their greatest era. But yeah, pre, pre Black Album, anything pre Black Album is. That's some. That's some hot fire, you know what I mean? It is some. Some tasty hot fire. Wow. I wish I could have done that with the other guy. I gotta see if maybe I can practice some uh, parry attacks with this guy up here. Nope. Already screwed up. So they're a little slow. Not terrible, but definitely a little slow. I gotta see if maybe there's a way that I can lure them in, though. Uh, I agree, every metalhead I've ever met is the chillest person ever. Isn't it weird, though? Like, all of their music, and maybe it has something to do with the aggression. Like, hey, during, during the moments where I feel like I am living, you know, through my music and I'm being defined by my music, it is very active. Like, hyper-stimulating, right? And they can get out some of that stress and that build-up, that anxiety, through their music and so you have this like flipped spectrum like in music i am wild but in life i'm chill it'd be it'd be something worth exploring i think that would be really really cool to check out Okay. Okay. Woo! Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Immediately turn around, make sure I'm square from this side. Okay, we're looking good. Is there any, like, drop down behind me? No, covered tunnel. Okay. What's up here? A caster. Can I block this? No, I cannot. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted. An attack that I can't block. Great. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Oh, that's the wrong weapon! It's the wrong weapon! Woo! I'm having a lot of trouble already. Okay, so there's traps galore here. Great. Great. Uh, rock and metal changed my life. I would be a completely different person without the uh, messages that my favorite bands gave me. Well, and I think, I think that rock has this tendency and metal have this tendency to teach us um, sometimes even about relationships, about life and what other people have gone through. And I, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that it's always helpful, but there, there are some interesting things learned through essentially the memoirs of other people's, you know, relationships and lives. Got it. All right, cool, 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 cool. So let's go down real quick. Is that, do I talk to this person? Wait, what's that? Is that coming down? Is that gonna come down or does that get, oh, that's getting pushed a different direction. Do, do I talk to you? What? Do I talk to this person? Music in general has saved life on several occasions. I would agree with that. I would agree with that for sure. I don't know if I'm supposed to talk to that person or do anything. Do I kill them? Do I get something for killing them? Okay, so that, that just tapers off. I don't know if I'm supposed to technically actually go through here. Kill him? Okay, well, I can always go back. I don't know how much I want to right now, but I, I know I can always go back. Excuse me, can you come through here and hit that trap for me, please? Oh, of course, you're not going to trigger it. Of course not. That would, that would make sense. Nice little backstab action. Nice. Okay, so that 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 person's dead. So let's see if I can just Got it. Got it all trade. Wait, can I like throw something in here? Can I like attack that so that that way it just can't do anything anymore? Or does that just always Okay, whatever. Hello? 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 Just cautiously running through each room with my shield up. Oh, Shep! Okay. So I have to go up? How am I gonna pull that off? Oh, wow. You can kill him, but in a more creative way. Oh, so like throw the boulder down on top of his face when I get the opportunity? Uh, follow the boulder all the way down? Wait, why, why, wait, which boulder? The one here or the, the one behind me? I guess I'm just gonna follow this one. Just for argument's sake. Okay, I don't see any traps on the floor. Left side, right side, nothing. Left side, around the corner, looking clear, looking clear. Ah! I knew it! 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 You can't fool me! You cannot fool me! Finally, I found a mimic. After everyone was always like, there's no mimics in the game. There's no mimics in the game, troll face. Get out of here. Attack every chest. Don't ask questions. Make sure you win. 
So I guess I ride the elevator. Loving the elevator, living it up when I'm going down. Hello? Hello? Why does that look like a trap floor? Wait, where? 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 Am I? Oh, this is this is where I was. Okay, so like, the weird lizard guy that I'm supposed to creatively kill, I think, is down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can barely see him. Okay, okay. So I kind of have an idea where I am. Can I open this? Does not open from this side. You are garbage, Ham. I hope you get wrecked, lol, nerd. So wait, is this like a rotating pillar? Yeah, like the pistons just, they go one way or another. So, wait, wait, wait. Does it... Does it go left and then right and then left and then right? Or no, no, this side only goes that way. All right, we're gonna we're gonna push it one whole f whole rotation this way. So that guy's gonna get crushed, which means I don't have to worry about the ball being up this side. So I should be able to go over here and unlock that door. No, I guess not. Um, maybe it's this way. Uh oh. Three shots. Okay. This side and this side. Uh, you can rotate it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I did that. I I did the I did the rotation. Uh. Is that is that one of those lizard things over there? God, this looks hard. Is that three or five? Those are all right next to each other. So there's not a way to pause. Yeah, there's not a way to pause. That would That's one full hit rotation. Yeah, I'm going to have to. I hate, I hate cliffs, I hate edges, I hate all that shit. I can hear someone moving, like someone's above me or doing something. Like, I don't want to double pull. Did I double pull? I hope I didn't. Hello? Okay, I don't even think I single pulled. Nope, I lied. I lied. Somehow they found out I was alive and a person. Okay, 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 we're good, we're good, we're, 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 we're back to square one. Okay. Maybe, like, I aggroed once I started to round the corner towards the loot? Whew. Not a problem. We can make this work. Yeah, so the guy at the end of the tunnel's gone, so there should still be the one up at the top of the stairs then? Yeah, okay. Hey, what's up? Are you a caster? Do you cast? You look like you cast. Do you cast? Okay, love you. What is this? Why is there a hole there? Who puts a hole there? There's no rolly balls. Okay, got it, got it.
Okay, a four, four bang. Oh, what? That is cruel. Bye! Bye, Felicia! Emo goggles, hello. How are you? Hello. Okay, so we got that one. I I'm 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 not. <laughs> Good bud. Uh my one one off day. Love watching you play this. Fantastic. When you pass this, you're out and there's a hidden bonfire. Uh wait, like when I pass, when I pass this? Excuse me, what? What are you? No, 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 no. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you throwing those at me? What are you doing? What is that? Don't stand still. Yeah, I'm getting that from, oh, Shep. Okay, Balder, Balder Knight, no problem, no problem. Little harder than normal, no problem. No problem, we got this, we got this. Give me that HP stickle. So, wait, 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 there's, there's a, there's a hidden, there's a hidden thing here? Is it down? Is that another Balder Knight? Hello? E to interact, by the way. Hello, you, you beautiful soul. How are you? How, how are you feeling, man? Hey, what up, bud? Ow, 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 ow. You dick. All right, we're just gonna, just gonna, just grab that real fast just to make sure, just to make sure. Son of a bitch. Every chest now. Every chest is just highly suspicious. Go upstairs. Eating dinner and just vibing? That sounds fantastic. What are you having for dinner? He just loads them. It's okay. I don't trust you, Emo. I don't trust you. That guy easily looks like he eats those things. Easily. Like, it looks like he could eat them for, like, a rock candy. Like, these are his jawbreakers. He's like a chipmunk and he just grabs those entire balls. Like when he's bored and he needs something, like he just crams that thing in there. Like a chipmunk or a squirrel and his little like cheek pouches just stretch out. What the ship? What the ship? That broken wall right there. Oh! Ah! 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 Oh, I have a question. 
Do you have to kindle a fire twice or do you only kindle the fire once in order to get it to 15? I mean, I guess I can answer that question right now, but like, should I have popped a secondary humanity in order to not only kindle it the first time, but second time? Well, happy to have you back, but sad that you haven't been able to get to sleep. If I'm just being honest, I'm very sad that that hasn't worked out for you. All right, here we go. Here we go. So let's back out. Okay, so I do have to do it a second time. So we're going to do this. Pop the humanity. And then I'm going to kindleize it one more time so I get the double stack. Hey, Crimpy Shark, how are you? Very good for a first time. Uh, once you have the right, you can light twice. Yes, yeah, so, so that's what I, I just did that. Um, I should have 15 then. Yes, yes, 15 at plus two. So I'm happy, I'm happy with that. Okay, so where am I? Oh, do I have to cross more of those things again? Can I like easy? Oh, no, 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 okay. I just, I just go over here and then I'm right back up where I left off. Wow, wow, I am all for that. CS, Tim Boston, hello. Welcome to the vaults. Thank you for becoming a vault roller. Happy to have you here. How are you today? I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Who's yeeting these things? I gotta kill them. Who? I, that's a boss, right? That's gotta be a boss. Oh, you son of a bitch. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just literally walking around. What am I doing? Where am I? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? There's nothing here, really? There's gotta be something here. Or is this like, if you fell, this is what happened. That's probably what it is. This is like a fallback position for if you screwed up when you get higher up, great. So now I know that when I get into that building, I have to watch out for getting pushed off a ledge and then falling down to my death. Excellent, excellent. They create an escape plan for terrible players. Exactly what I wanted to hear. Sorry for the bad English. Uh, make sure to kill the troll that's throwing the rock before the boss fight. Come, 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 I almost, I almost screwed that up big time. Come on. Come on, do your overhead slam. Slam me. Slam me down, daddy. We can do this all day. I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's not going well for you. I told you, you should have just given up. Bro, it's spoopy month. Wait, no, I thought October was spoopy month. Wait, the sun burnt you? You got, you got sunburnt? Good luck with the game. Thank you, Tim Boston. I appreciate that. Happy to have you here in the community. Have you, have you played a lot of Dark Souls? We're, we're always looking for more people that at least can give me some general direction without giving away all the game or spoiling it too much because like sometimes I have like so many questions. I guess I'm terrible at that and like not waiting. Well, no, no, that's not true because not everyone's giving me like details or information as like, oh yeah, this is what's gonna happen or anything like that. It's just that I just get caught up and then, wow, that is a fast bow, holy shep.
ow, ow, ow. Holy epi, Batman. Got him. Got him. Ricard's rapier. Ricard's rapier. Bro, have you heard the that the Apex files got compromised or hacked? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, DS is my go-to game when I don't know what else to play. So how many times have you beaten the game, um, Tim Boston? Wait, did I actually, did I take one damage from that? Hmm... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't trust chests anymore. They done screwed it up for me. They done screwed up them chests for me. All right, so I'm going to go back down, I guess. Like, I don't know where else to go. Is there another way up? Oh, maybe back up like where instead of jumping or something like that, I have to continue upwards? That's probably what it is. Um, is. I've probably done... It's the guy from Marvel? I don't know what that is. Uh, I've probably done full playthroughs about 20 times. I'm usually go heavy weaponry plus fire damage builds. So um, I'm I'm a wanderer. I don't know how well people can tell that. Like, you know, if people can tell that from, you know, what they're seeing. But um, it was one of the suggestions of the community that as a new player, never playing the game, like I should definitely take the time to uh, play as a wanderer and then do a dex build. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, like... I don't know the benefits or the, the negatives to doing so. I just know that people said that that was one of the better options. So that's where we're at. Oh, do I have to jump across that? Am I supposed to go back and jump across that ledge? Or is that not worth it? Okay, so a Balder Knight, not a problem. Can I make that jump? I don't feel like I can make that jump. Not only because of the freaking fire tossing, but... I feel like there's a flame dancer stripper up on the top, just like popping off, having a good time, getting tips. It's doable, doable or guaranteed? <laughs> Cause if it's, if it's guaranteed, like as long as you jump, then you're good. If it's doable, it's like, no, I don't know about that. Can make jump worth. <laughs> See loyal, hello, welcome. I, I just, I don't know if that's, like, what's on the other end? Is it, like, a weapon? Is it armor? Like, is it worth me even going over there? I'm already scared of heights. I don't know how much I'm invested in jumping across a bunch of ledges. Like, I hate ledges. I hate cliff sides. I hate all that nonsense. I don't want to deal with that. Okay. This, that was a good try. It's good. It was a good try. A key to free Logan. Just run and jump. It isn't that hard. Quality build. Dex and strong 40 is great for new players. Um, it gives you a bare minimum to tank and dodge any attacks in the game and still gives you good damage with most weapons. Huh. So I should probably start putting points into strength as well, Eterna. Is that what you're suggesting? It's doable. I should just do it anyways. I don't like that. I don't like the concept of just do it anyways. There's too many trolls. I mean, like, listen, you guys got me the first time with going down to the swamp and just trusting that and then ended up fighting Mildred, which that was a fiasco. And then you guys, you guys told me to go to the graveyard and I had to find all those those stupid sack face necromancers, which was a terrible experience. And then you guys trolled me when I got down to the bottom of Blight Town anyways. And, and there was the giant spider queen with the great chest that was ahead, which was not a chest. It was just a chest that everyone was very, very excited about. The best one in the game, apparently. So I've been trolled on more than one account. Just saying. First kill the troll throwing rocks. He doesn't come back. Okay, so progress forward and then progress backwards. Pretty sure you'd survive with not making the jump. Can reduce weight to increase fall survival. Wait, where? What's the purpose of this? What? Why, why is this here? 
Excuse me, what purpose do you serve? State your purpose and contents. I don't think there's anything that's supposed to be there. Or is this like a kite place? Like you bring the person back to the ledge in order to like try and fight them better? Like what? What? I don't... I don't get the purpose of that ledge. I think it serves no purpose. It's masterless. So you guys would think I would survive even if I... Oh... Oh, Stratos, welcome back. Holy, we are at Sens. Man, I work for five days and I miss 90%. I'm sorry. Stratos, I'm so sorry. Listen, I, I love you. I love you to death. I'm sorry that you've missed even any of it. Ugh! I know there's people. 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 Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I just want to have a good time. I just want to have a good time. I'm here to have a good time. I'm not here to deal with your BS. Oh! Oh, that happened right behind me. I don't do ledges. I do not do ledges. Okay, so hold on. The troll is above me, right? I'm invading you right now. Oh my god, don't do it. Don't do it. Stratos, please. Please, Stratos, please. Troll? Hello? Ah! What? How can you hit me through the wall, you wall hacking son of a bitch? What is this, Counter-Strike 1.6? That is totally unfair. You hacking aimbotting bastard. Well, I see your penis or whatever you're projecting through the wall. This isn't a penetration party. Get out of here, get out of here. Do, 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 do. He's easy to kill, don't worry. Sorry guys, I'm out. It's not a penetration party, Antoine's done. Okay, you got you got all tuckered. You got all tuckered. Can someone get him like some orange slices or something in a juice box? He's not having a good time. Buddy? Hello? Ah! Give me that Hulk smash. Ow, ow! Do your thing. Do your thing that you're supposed to do. To like, tuck yourself out. Do that thing. Do that, do that thing. Do the thing, do the, do the thing. Do the thi do the thing. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh! Okay, I, I got it, I got it, I got it. I cheesed him. I gave him the full cheese. Okay, so all that stuff's gone and dead. This, is there still an HP bar for this? Okay, I guess not. All right, I'm gonna go back down. I'm gonna go back down. Okay, this is that one building that I was just in. Hello? What the hell is that? 
Whoa, what the what the hell is that? What the hell is that? What the hell is this? Touch summon sign? What is what is this? Oh. What do I have to like Am I Oh, okay. Come on, Iron Tarkus. Hello? You're very nice. Thank you. Hello? Dear Iron Tarkus, I hope you are ready for combat with our we weaponing foes. I'm ready to have a good time with you. Let us traverse the light and fight. Oh my gosh. Holy sh- what? No, 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 what, what? What? Oh my gosh. The thing's been huge. Don't block, don't body block, don't body block! Get up! Get up! Wait, why why am I not allowed to attack now? Oh my gosh, I'm doing no damage. No damage. Hit him, Iron Tarkus. I'm terrible at this game. Iron Tarkus, please. Just hit him once or twice or maybe all of the times that are needed. Ah, what? What? That boss literally just pushed me away off the edge of the entirety of that castle with his ankle. Just decided, yeah, you're not literally worth my time at all. I'm not I'm not going to even attack you. I don't I don't give a crap about you. I'm just I'm just going to like slowly like I'm brooming you off. I'm just cleaning up the kitchen, cleaning up my house. Just these gnats that are in here, just get rid of them. Just, ah, they're so annoying. Oh, see, emo goggles. When it comes to spaghetti noodles, I'm gluten-free, so those things just stick to the plate, you know, because they're so starchy from, you know, the rice and the potato and all that nonsense. I don't have that luxury of them just sliding off the plate. Even if you rinse them, it just doesn't work, bro. I don't have that luxury, man. I don't have it. It's all you. Own it. Own it. Because I, I ain't got none of that. I, I, I could probably, like, flip the entire plate upside down and, like, half of the... Half of the, the noodle would hang to the plate and the other half would just be like dangling. You know, like on a really hot day when you walk outside and your bits are just flowing out there in the wind. It's like that. That's what my noodles look like. If you want to summon again, you need to be human. Oh, great. Oh, great. So I have to, I have to pop a humanity in order to deal with this. Because there's no way that I can kill that boss on my own. That thing was outrageous. Outrageous. I mean, I, I think I hit him for like eight damage. And the boss was just like, <laughs> lol. Meanwhile, our wonderful friend that I had summoned in was doing tons. Like 520 damage a tick or something like that. I watched it. The health bar was just like, boop. 
There's like an eighth of its HP bar just gone. I just need to not get yeeted off the edge by his ankle as he slowly sidesteps over the edge to deal with the person who's actually really doing the damage. I'm just like... It's like, you know, when, when a dog's excited and they come through the door and they're just super happy to see you. You've had a long day at work and... They just, they don't want to do anything else but be right beside you and you like accidentally push into them like three or four times because they just won't leave your side. It's exactly like that. Exactly like that. Can I run past this person? I just, like, do I have to fight this? Like, what is, what is the point here? Come on, buddy. I need some help, man. Oh, Shep, he does doubles? Okay. Okay, I didn't see that. Oh, Shep. Oh, what? I'm behind him. Can I not backstab? I've got to be able to backstab this. It, it doesn't matter. Either way, got it. Taken care of. Done. You can kill him on your own. First time I played, it took me a while, but eventually I got him. Yeah, like 17 hours later. Listen, I'm not good at this game. <laughs> I don't even have to go this way, do I? I'm supposed to go up the ledge. I'm not even supposed to fight this. I'm supposed to go like over here or something, right? Yeah, I'm supposed to go up over here. I'm not even supposed to technically fight that thing. Why the hell am I doing that? Why the hell am I making bad decisions? That is a long jump. I don't think that there's any way that I can pull that off. That is a really long jump. I don't think I have the speed for that or the dexterity or the height or the whatever that you need in order to accomplish that jump i'm getting the chills like just like the shivers just thinking about falling off this ledge right now dark souls is like hey you know we we heard that you loved trying to fight ledges so much in the first game that we decided to make it to where you have to do like a jumping destiny style boss in order to even complete the game it's going to just give me so much anxiety that i'm just going to stare at the interaction and be like nah i'm, I'm good i'm just going to say that i beat the game when people ask me questions yeah i beat it yeah i beat it no four tries later not he's not that hard just look like he is because he's big that's what my girlfriend always says about me you look like you're hard, but you're not. You're just that big. <laughs> Come on, Iron Tarkus. We got stuff to do. Does she? I don't know what she says. I have no idea what she says. She could have the weirdest conversations with, with her friends, and I would have no idea. Just zero clue. Wow, this boss is like already almost half dead. Just keep slicing, Iron Tarkus. Nice. Nice. Good damage. Good damage. Ow. Well, I'm almost off the edge. I'm doing nothing to this boss. Zero. Literally nothing. I'm not, I'm not going to kill this. I can't kill this. I hope it just jumps off the edge. Just mind its own business and like, yeah, focus on me. Focus on me. Focus on me so that he can get in some attacks.
Get in some attacks! Now's the time! Now's the time! One more! One more! Woo! Thanks, Iron Tarkus! You're legit- Examine the Ring of Light. I don't know what this does, but I did it. And it's probably going to summon like a whole nother boss. And I was supposed to wait to do this. Yeah, Iron Tark is definitely with the hard carry. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so can I just ask a question? Can I just, like, why would they do this? Why wouldn't... Why wouldn't those demons just, like, just, like, stab me in the air? Like, done. You know what I mean? Like, they reach down, they grab me, and then one of the other demons, the flying brain demon gargoyles, just walks up and just... Right through, like, right while they're holding me. Like, I have no other option. That's the whole purpose of this entire... This whole backline, or the plot, the whole story, everything, is, like, gathering more souls. Oh, this is their job. Okay, okay. So that just makes it all okay. What, what does this say? Praise the sun, praise the sun. And lo, the chosen one set upon the village of Anando, that the sun raineth down and shineth its rays upon the temples and steeples and parapets of existence, the greatest of architectural design jettisoned itself up towards the sky as if reaching to the gods for just a glimpse of hope and a glimmer of understanding of beyond what is the soul. May we understand evermore as the sun shineth down upon us. Praise be to the sun. Uh, because you're the chosen in the game, Lord, the gods and the demons have an agreement to live in peace. Sometimes the demons serve the gods, and now you're in Anorlando, um, the capital of the gods. When you get down, the left is the bonfire. Okay, all right, all right. Oh my gosh, nope. I gotta go back. Hey, guys. Y'all got a ticket? Can I get a ticket to go back, y'all? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Where do I go? Where do I go? In there. In there. That's left. That's a left. That's a leftwards re left leftwards lead direction. This is leftwards. Oh, yes. 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 Oh. oh. Woo. Woo. Delicious. Delicious. Wait, I'm stuck here? I can't go back at all? Back in the day, this area popped off for PvP? Yikes. I don't want anything to do with PvP. You can? Oh, okay. Someone said that I was stuck here. Well, the person that we raided the other day was here, and they went into, like, the cathedral, and there was, like, two bosses right at the beginning, and then, like, the moment you walk through, one of them just is, this, like, horse lunge, like, right into your dick and just, like, flays you in half. Like, flayed and splayed. Did you find the shortcut? I don't know what shortcut we were talking about. What shortcut were we talking about, Stratos? Um, all right, so... Someone said I should level up some strength a little bit. And then dexterity, endurance, vitality. Just give me like a broad across the board little stroke there. Give me a little stroke. Hey, how you doing? What up? Um, heading to sleep, but leaving you a lurk. Love the lockdown hair. Aww. Spring chicken, great to have you here. Enjoy your lurk. Get some good rest. And hopefully we get the opportunity to see you soon. Great to have you, as always. 
incensed there's a shortcut from the top to the bottom so you can go back to the un undead parish bonfire i don't i do not believe i did that i really don't think that i did that oh you so this is the last person who does the reinforcement of the flask or no 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 reinforcement does the plus three right no 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 the reinforce yeah reinforce did plus three or you know plus one to plus two to plus three so then that i i need to do like the advanced kindling or whatever in order to do the other thing Okay, so let's do let's do the humanities to do a double kindle. How many people have gone through this game and never died? Like after you do the first reverse hollowing, like they don't die. Is there an achievement for that? I, I'm assuming like people do that. People are probably like that good at this game that they just never die ever. Like a zero death run. Like if you die, you go back to square one, that kind of a thing. Like uh, Iron Man mode, you know, that kind of a thing. Speedrunners, yeah. Remember that hole that you said, why would there be a hole there? It was a shortcut. Oh, okay, yeah, I never did that. Do, no hit runs? Are you kidding me? How do you do a no hit run in this game? Please tell me, please tell me one of you, one of you is not one of those people. Because I'm going to feel bad. Like right now, I'm going to be like, listen, I'm just going to... We're going to take the controller here. I'm just going to set it down. I'm going to end the stream and walk away. Because <laughs> I'm not supposed to be here. Hello? Hello? Oh, shit! It's another raid! It's another raid! Dwellers! 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 Get down! Get down! It's a whole nother raid! Oh, shit! Hello. Welcome. That's totally Josh. Happy to have you here. How was your day? Welcome to the vault. We live we live for a good air raid, a good care raid. Thank you for the uh the med kits and making sure that uh we've got we've got our people that are perfectly taken care of. Wait, 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 why didn't that work? That should have worked. Um, oh, 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 so you set off a, a trigger for the raid. Um, you, you guys taking the time to share the community and bring everyone over with the raid. We have a trigger for, you know, raid encounters. And uh, so the lights in the background that you can see, they start, you know, like flashing like a red alert. And then it creates like a sound effect that's totally random. So it just decides like, hey, um, 47 seconds in or 32 seconds in or whatever, like we're going to cause the explosion. It's completely randomized. So, you know, we don't know when it's going to happen. Um, but every time someone raids, it, it, it triggers it. So, um, I think that there's like a minimum counter, like whatever Twitch's minimum is. I think it's three or something like that. But, um, for it to be considered a raid, uh, it, it should, it should work. So, oh, oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Sorry. I thought you were, I thought you were just like seriously asking. So, um, I apologize. Uh, regardless, uh, that's totally Josh. Welcome to the community. Happy to have you here. Thank you so much for sharing. How was the stream? How was the day? What did you guys get into? What were you doing? And welcome everyone to the vault. My name is Hammer. I'm a variety streamer. I've been recently getting into Dark Souls. This is my first playthrough of the game. I have no idea what I'm doing, no idea whatsoever. And the community has been so incredibly welcoming and helpful in order to uh, bring me in and, and help me understand what the, you know, the better opportunities of uh, this game are. So uh, we've been just, just been playing Dark Souls. It's my first playthrough as well. Um, Totally, Josh. So, what what class did you go with? What, what like are you running like a specific build? Did the community help you with that? Because they they told me like run Dex, run Wanderer. You're gonna have a much easier time. Like do that. And so like I know everyone's kind of got a different view on what works and what doesn't work. But I'm just I'm I'm banking on people. Um, I'm in the same boat as you. So I thought we could share what we have learned. Um, learn how to get good. Don't let bosses push you off of cliffs. Um. People always say that if a character's naked, it's got the best chest. Um, attack every chest.
know what direction to go, even if you don't know what direction to go. Figure it out. And if no one knows the answer, well, then you need to get better at the game. I think that's about it. That's about that's about what I've learned thus far. Like, there's been a couple times where I'm like, I should go, I should go straight. And they're like, no, you shouldn't. I'm like, yeah, but why not? Like, it makes sense. Like, I just killed this boss and it seems like I should be going forward. And they're like, no, you just suck. And I'm like, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I've gone into a lot more uh, blind than that. No build for me. Gotcha. I haven't been here. So I guess it makes sense for uh, people don't have the answer. Uh, strength is way better. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well... Stratos, we have you now, so that's what counts, right? I'm a grizzled vet of a complete playthrough and two and a half runs. Two, two ish. I would assume that's ish. Two ish different classes, and that info was 100% accurate. Well, thank you. Um, for 10 minutes, then I go to work. Oh, Stratos, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you have to work today. I'm sorry that you have to work so much, but you know. Work is one of those necessities of life, unfortunately. And uh, I hope that we at least provided some level of entertainment enough that you can go into work and, you know, tell all your friends about this wildly crazy person that you've been watching um, that's just terrible at this game. And you're like, yeah, I have to tell them, like, everything. Like, he's really bad. You guys don't even know. I mean, like, he figures stuff out, but, like, you know, he's really bad. <laughs> um... Been doing a lot of heavy lifting and carrying me. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. That's a gargoyle? No, 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 I don't want to face gargoyle twins again. I did this once. I earned my right. I don't need to do this twice. You guys didn't get the memo. You don't go back and fight bosses over and over again. This isn't a beat em up strat. So rude. Can you breathe fire so I can do that thing that I did on the gargoyle twins? That, like, that Cheezum strat? Hello, Cheezum strat? Hello? What is that? That's new? Lightning breath? Oh, you piss? You piss? So am I. I'm pissed you came back. But now you dead. Oh. I don't know if anyone heard that, but the spring in my chair just popped. <laughs> I got two of them. Anyone? Did anyone hear that? Like that reverberating sound? Clipped your hints for reference. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That should have gone through. It should allow for people to at least post the clips. Dual wield the axe. How do I dual wield the axes? They're like a million strength requirement. I have like three. Ricard's rapier. Uh -huh. Gargoyle tail axe. I should have two of them. The gar Oh, I have a halberd and the tail axe. Well, I, I have one from the previous boss anyway. So technically I have two tail axes, but like... Oh, the strength requirement's only 14. But there's like zero bleed effects. Zero poison, zero bleed. I need I need um, weapons. Apparently dex is super, super important to have a bleed effect. And the great scythe is, what, that's only 100? Is that right? Was that, was that right? Yeah, 100. Should I be using this? I feel like it makes me, it makes me seem like I should be using this. What's the purpose of this? Is this literally just to cuck you? Like, hey, by the way, here's a gargoyle. Enjoy fighting a second one. Oh, there's a stairwell over there. I mean, this game does like to do that. They're like, hey, by the way, we heard that you enjoyed... Wait, how... I can't get to that stair... What? What? How... Okay, okay, just go around. Okay, no problem. Easy mode. You know, use your brain. Use your brain, ham. It's fine. Is there... Ooh, that's a ledge. That's a ledge. Later in Honor Ondo, you can make the Chaos Blade. Yeah, someone was talking about that. That That's what I should be using for my dex build. The Chaos Blade is apparently, like, that's, that's the thing. Like, you... 
enlighten some sort of super weapon or something. Oh, that that just makes my stomach completely unsettled looking at that. Is that like that's like a thing? Like people can jump across that or something? Oh. Blech. I don't want to do it. If that's if that's the way I have to move forward, I don't want to do it. Please, please not be the way. That's my response to all platforming in this game. I don't want to do it. I'm not doing it. Like, all right, so I have I have a fear of heights. Like in real life, I am I'm actually afraid of heights, right? And there are some games where I'm like, oh yeah, no big deal. I'm just gonna jump over this. It's fine. But this is one of those games where like me looking over that edge, if I were to turn the camera, like I would literally feel my stomach just like sink. Like that's just that's no. Mm -mm. That's a long drop. There's a catwalk on the roof I passed. Oh. How do How do I wait what? 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 There's no There's no roof or catwalk or anything. What is this nonsense? This is heresy. This is absolute heresy. Weakness, tail. Need a lever. I don't have a lever. Try sorcery scroll. What? What? At what? The wall? Nothing? You attack the darkness. <laughs> you were literally looking at it? Wait, what? I was looking. I was looking at what? A lever? People go up those? No. No. People go up the... <sighs> oh, okay. Someone, 20, 20, 2020 is like, you can run. You can run up the ledge above your death. You can run, you can run. No. No, you can't run when your legs feel like jello. You can't do it. It's not possible. You cannot. You know that feeling when you get up on a ledge and you're on like the, 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 the fourth floor on a, like a balcony and your body's like, hey, by the way, like gravity all of a sudden somehow got 12 times heavier 
and like your your legs just like cave out from underneath you and you just like ah! you stop that i just had a bad day trying to cross it ow you son of a all right i'm done with you you done you done screwed up you done screwed up i'm having a bad day I walked over an entire ledge only for you to try and throw knives in my back? Get wrecked, nerd. Get wrecked. Lenny Wolf, hello. That's totally Josh. Thank you so much for the follow. Greatly appreciate it. Welcome to the vault and thank you for becoming a vault roller. Happy to have you here. Uh, I did, I killed Pinwheel, yes. Um, and then uh, uh, Mama Thug, hello, how are you? Great to see you here. How's your son? How's everything going? I did kill P Pinwheel. Uh, everyone was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be the hardest boss in the world, the hardest, but, oh, you shh. <laughs> no, 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 J Josh, Josh, Josh. Bear with me here, right? Bear with me. So you've just progressed across the, the the bridge from every worst nightmare where no one is attacking you and then you get to a room this room right here if, if i can if i can get this to like showcase appropriately because the camera is terrible look at that just look at this you want to talk about madness this is pure unadulterated hate for the human species this is designed to trigger anxiety have you gotten this far have you have you gotten here? Listen, I don't envy you, Josh. I don't envy you, and my heart goes out to you. Cuz that floor looks not only so far away but so close at the same time. You know what I'm talking about. You know, you're like, "No, no, no, no. I know if I fall that, like fall fall down there, like I'm hitting that thing as fast as you can breathe." And at the same time, you're like, that is literally, I've never seen a height that is deeper than that. And I've, I've looked through bottomless holes in this game. I would rather just not know. Oh, you son of a bitch. Mama Thug, thank you so much for the host. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Uh, I don't know if I can do this. I'm just being honest. I don't know if I can do this. I hope you fall. I hope you fall to your death. I hope you fall to your death. I hope you run out of knives. Wait, did you run out of knives? Hey, hey, hey. You remember that one time you made decisions worse than I have? How'd that work out for you, buddy? How'd that work out for you? I gotta say, your skin's glowing. You know, karma's gonna come back and bite me in the ass for doing that. I guarantee you. You guys have seen it happen a million times already. Me shit-talking that one random NPC enemy. It's gonna come back and bite me in the ass. All right, do I have to do anything here? Because I don't want to take the time. I literally, I don't want to take the, the time to go over there. Not a problem, Mama Thug. Thank you so much for the lurk. May I advise you to raise your shield for this next bit also? You got it. Cut, cut down the rope? What do you mean, cut down the rope? I can attack it? Is that what you're suggesting? Give it a little shimmy. Try attack. Okay, which side's gonna be easier? Okay, so they're both equidistant. Wow, did I seriously just say equidistant? How old am I? Actually, that's... That's kind of proving my point. Like, I'm that old that I'm saying things like equidistant. I'm so... I've got to focus. 
I've got... I'm sorry, chat. I'm dying internally right now. Somewhere... Somewhere in the world, Josh is throwing his computer... I'm sorry. I don't know that. I feel bad right now. I don't know if you identify as as he him, and I just immediately jumped to the conclusion. I'm, I apologize. That's that's my that's my bad. Wow, this is like a whole strat. Okay, somewhere. Why is there a blood stain? I don't I don't f with that. Just, just lunge at me. Do that thing that you guys do. Yes, yes, that thing. I really need to get over this. I need to get past this. Just please, just, please, just bear with me. Please, oh! Stop staring at me, statue. Stop staring at me with your wanton eyes. Your degrading, demeaning actions, telling me how terrible I am at navigating ledges and cliff sides. I don't need your demeanors, it's terrible interaction nonsense. Well, wait, can I go down there? Can I go down there? Chest ahead. The scoot method. Absolutely, I love the scoot method. Shoot them with a bow? Well, yeah, yeah, but I'm, I'm good. Like, we got them to fall off the ledge without it. Uh, no, I believe you can do it. You're doing okay. I am he him. Well, wonderful. I'm glad. I, I'm I'm sorry that I you know jumped to conclusions there, but ah! Come on up, come on up. You've got five of those, right? Yeah, you've got five of those. You got five. You use them. You failed. You dead. Uh, go to the left for don't go down yet. What do you mean go to the left? Like go to the left is in through this? Go through the fog wall first unless you want to shimmy. Oh, you you said the magic phrase right there, Flander Jam. Unless you want to shimmy again, go through. You got it. Contraption does not move. What do you mean? It's a lever. I can see it. it you pull it and it's done. Like I can see the gears interlocking with each other like fingers. It would function. Whether or not the chain is working, that contraption would work. Mini boss, come on! Can't I just get like, can't I just get like one little thing, one iota of a campfire somewhere? Can't they just put one like literally after every ledge? Go over there? I don't wanna go over here. I don't wanna go over. Just so you know, the next ledge you get to, uh, similar to those, you need to run. What is that? What is that shit? Oh, so it's another gargoyle. But a gargoyle on a ledge. Wait, do I have to like turn something in order to get this to raise? I've got to get this to raise, right? That seems like what I'm supposed to do so that that way I can take the small little bridge across. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Hey, Crazed Dog. Hello, how are you? Okay, 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 okay. So now, now I have, now I have the, the fire that goes literally all the way across. So all I have to do is worry about getting back across again. No problem. Oh, ah!
we good. We good. We good. <laughs> no problem. Immediately screams. Uh, it's a bonfire below when is when it's at its lowest point. Okay, so I have to go back down for the bonfire. Wait, but like I turned it to go be, to be able to go across the bridge. How is there a bonfire? Wait, what? 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 Oh, so you can move this up and down based off of what your location is and reset its location. And that's what the contraption does. So it's already at its height, I guess. I'm just going to, I'm going to jump on that. I'm going to jump on that bandwagon and say that that's what's happening. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just a chandelier. Okay. No big deal. Hi, how are you? Um, what? Wow. Relax much? Relax. Relax. You're not a ninja. You're just dead. Nice hair, though. Caution with the big picture? You mean like the story or? Oh, you mean like literally caution with the big picture. I'm mad currently, but you never told me how you were doing. And did you get some sleep the other night? I did end up getting some uh, sleep. I'm doing all right. I'm I'm doing all right. We're we're uh, we're adventuring through um An Orlando, An, An Orlando, on An, An Orlando, how, however you say it, whatever it's actually however it's pronounced. Um and we're doing we're doing pretty well. I mean, I'm progressing through the game relatively easily. Um well, I mean, there's definitely some hard points, but I don't see this like campfire that I'm supposed to see. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't have the doll. I, I don't even know what the doll is. Unless you're talking about the tennis player, Nadal. You're probably talking about Nadal. Uh, I'm gonna take off. Good luck. Oh, not not a problem, anonymous. Have a great day. Are you are you headed to work? I presume. If not, regardless, hopefully Apex has been treating you well. Rotate again. Okay. I'm gonna. Rotate with the Flander Jim. Flander Jim, do you want to rotate on me? You rotate on my jam, Flander. Mm -hmm. Flander, turn the crank again. Take it, take it all the way down. Go all the way down on that crank. <laughs> I'm rotating. I'm gyrating. Can we like rotate and gyrate at the same time? Somewhere, somewhere, Flander Jam's Corgos are freaking out. <laughs> I love you, Flander Jam. I miss you. Ghost Prune, hello, how are you? Welcome. Happy to have you back here in the vault. How you doing? How's Apex treating you? Ring of the Sun's firstborn. I'm spinning around. Move out of my way. <laughs> Oh, Josh, I gotta, I gotta stop by sometime. I'm gonna pull this up real fast. Give me that page. Show me that page. Give it to me. Show it to me. Mm. Oh, look, you play DBD as well. Look at that. All right. Hello. Always need more DBD people. Wanted to join you singing spinning around songs. I love. If you have this bonfire, can't you rotate the wrong way? Wait, what? Haven't been playing Apex recently. Have been playing some DBD. Wow, so we've got a lot of DBD people. Look at this. I love it. I love it. You spin me right round, baby. Right round like a record, baby. Round, round, right round. I don't know if those are the lyrics, but we're just going to assume that they are and uh, call that a win. So wait, can I, can I, can I like, uh, can I lefty Lucy this and go back up? Just do, just do, do, do the do the full spectrum twist. Am I supposed to do that? Contraption does. Oh, I'm on the wrong side, anyways. So I should go back up one turn, so that that way I can make it back to this ledge right here, right? Oh, wait, that's the other side. I did the wrong 180 flip and reverse it. 
That would be sick if you played DBD on stream. I have before. The developers kind of make some interesting decisions around the qual. Why are there so many notes here? Oh, there's those, there's those gargle demons. There's so many notes. Am I about to die? Need humanity. Okay, well, I have some. Need humanity. Try lightning. Good luck. Wow, thanks. That's reassuring. Can I pull you? Dear you. Let me give him the let me give him that Muhammad Ali. Give him that. Let me give him that Muhammad Ali. Woo! Ooh, okay, 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 I see you. I see you. I see you, thick boy. Ooh, ow. No, that didn't hit me. That did not hit me. I was nowhere near that. That's fine, though. That's fine. That's fine. You can just, just be... Whoa. Okay. Swipe and spin, baby. Swipe and spin. Got him! We got him! Okay. Go to the right. That hurt. They hurt a bit. Fun to watch. Hello. Chaos D85. Welcome. Thank you so much for following. And thank you for becoming a dweller. Happy to have you here. How are you? Come on down. Come on down, daddy. Come on down, daddy. Oh, no. I don't want you to come on down anymore. I lied. I'm so sorry. I made a, a very strong mistake. It's bad. It's very bad. I made the bad mistake. Oh. I have not seen the gas buster skin. I have not. Um I I it unfortunately, I don't I don't get too much into skins anyways, so it's never been like a focus for me. Um wait, what? Oh, did I never actually I never actually lit that bonfire, so I have to take the elevator back down. And then I should be able to just like cross right over because I hit that button or I turned the dial. F's in the chat. This bonfire is faster. It seems like it might be. Oh my gosh. Entropic effects. How are you? Welcome back. Happy to have you back here. We're getting pretty far along. This has been, this has been a lot of fun. I'm, I'm enjoying it thus far. We're, we're doing all right. I didn't enjoy the ledges though. That, mm -mm. that was a big nope for me. And honestly, are, is there any more of that within this game? Like, is there a lot more like ledge style combat and like ledge issues? Or is that like all of this entire area is, hey, by the way, I hope you enjoy traversing very small walkways. Just came back from a rock climbing camping trip was awesome. Nice, nice. Any bad mosquito bites? Just a bit more in the area, okay. Any bad mosquito bites or like weird, weird instances of of bug like interaction? Just a bit more in this area with the silver boys. Are these the silver boys? But if he rotates it wrong, he needs to do the the thing he didn't like. Oh. Is it? So I've been hearing I've been hearing good things and like, you know, mediocre things about it. Like people are like, yeah, I mean, Black Widow feels like it's anticlimactic because like after all the nonsense that happened in Infinity, in Infinity War and all that, like it just feels like there's not enough action. Like, do you, do you feel like that's relatively accurate or is that unfair to Black Widow? Is this the cheese? Did I find the cheese? I think I found I think I found that 10 year age cheddar just now. No, I I slissed. 
I slissed and dissed. Okay, so all I need to do is I'm going to go back, I'm going to grab my stuff, and then I'm going to revert back to the stairwell because I know that the stairwell is a tactic that I, I, can, I can execute because of the height gap. Okay, come on, come on. Give me some... Oh! Ooh. Okay, come on, come on back down though. Come on back down. Come on back down. Woo! Come over here. Come over here. I can make this work. I'm gonna have to drop a little lurk, but it's been uh, lovely meeting you today. So glad I introduced my little community to you. No, thank you for entrusting us with them. I greatly appreciate that. Thanks, thanks for, thanks for stopping by, bringing everyone over, and sharing you and your your family, your friends with us. I greatly appreciate it. It's so incredibly kind of you. And I'm definitely gonna have to. I'm gonna have to stop back myself. And 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 stop in sometime. Encourage you along the ways of of the upper walkways of the church. I know I needed the moral support, so, you know. It'd be good to have someone else there, you know what I mean? Someone who's endured the pain before. Someone who's lived the tragedy. Ooh, right in the crotch. Just like sliced literally right across the crotch and, and it's done. We would love to have you. You can come remind me of your tips. Uh, yeah, touch all the chests. Do uh, as much as you can of box touching. Slice and dice on them. Don't give them the chance to breathe. I've, I've only found one though. Um, Knight, have a, have, a, have a great night. Thank you for the lurk. I do appreciate it. How was the most difficult boss? Are we talking about Pinwheel? Is that what are we doing the reference back to the troll about pinwheel? Is that what we're going on about? The, those large gentlemen won't follow you if you run past them to the right, but they are good souls, so player's choice. Yeah, pinwheel was honestly, I was expecting after all the nonsense that you guys turned that into that I was going to just come into this absolute horror fest of an existence. And then, of course, lo and behold, it was nothing. It was just why am I hearing stuff? I'm hearing things. What am I hearing? Okay, can I pull you guys? Hello? Can you come up here? Hello? Oh, there's there's someone hiding down there. Hello? That's why I'm hearing things. Yeah, you come on up. You come on up. I need to figure out what you guys how you guys work. Watch me get like one shot by this dude. Wow. Okay, so block isn't 100% effective. However, it's just a sliver of HP that I lost. So that's not terrible. Did I get the second one? Okay, I didn't pull the second one. Not a problem. Nice! And I basically got the HP back that I lost. Fantastic. Yeah, so Pinwheel was was a joke. You guys just turned him into a, a whole fiasco. And and you were like, oh, yeah. You know, I became, I became the product of the meme. Weapon at risk. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's what I needed to see. I should have repaired before I came up here, but... Oh, God. <laughs> Eat that demon! Unless you can fly, then in which case I was meant to say something very nice about you and your family. What's over here? This looks like it could be a thing. What is this? Hello? Is that a thing? Do I have to go down there? Nope, that's nothing. Just, just keep me close to the ledge. There we go. Beat him with their oh, eyes no. closed. Exactly. With my eyes closed? With my eyes closed. Got wings but can't fly. Don't look like a penguin. Gotcha. Don't worry. You'll be at a bonfire soon one way or an... Wow. Wow. Toxic. Roll right on in through here. Oh, you'll be at a bonfire. Whether you're progressing through the game or if you just die, lol.
I don't think I'm supposed to go across that. I don't think you can. If you can, then that's not a good time. I don't think I'm supposed to go. I'm not supposed to go across that, am I? There's no way to get over from one to the other side. Yeah, there's no way. Like, I can't drop down on anything. You missed the ledge? Okay. Come back over to this side. I don't see anything. Oh, that one. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense. That's very visible. But the previous one did not look visible at all. What does this say? Here. Thank, thank you. Oh, wow. Someone's like throwing daggers at me or something. Oh, hey. No, 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 no. You did this, Entropic. You did this. You did this. No one else. You. I didn't screw that part up. <laughs> I didn't screw it up. Not me. Couldn't be me. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Thanks, Antoine. Thanks for looking at the bright side. I'm sorry, Entropic Effect. I love you. I'm just, you know, I'm kidding. I hope. I'm kidding you in the same way that you trolled me about, about Pinwheel. Fair game? Fair game. I hope that's fair game. Fair game, right? Good. Okay. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. Everyone's good here. Oh, I didn't want to use two. Well, whatever. I, I guess I can repair a lot of stuff. Repair equipment. Repair my Kuchi Katana. Repair this. Repair all that, repair this, repair that, repair this, repair that, repair it. Prepare, repair. Prepare to repair. Okay, so back to my ass this. Go back down the elevator. Right, I have to go to bed. Thanks for the stream and good luck. Uh, words Greenwood, thank you so much for the kind words. Thank you for the help. Oh, and thank you for the follow. Welcome to the vault. Thank you for becoming a vault dweller. Happy to have you here. I'm sorry, the weapon name one more time. The Coochie... Katana. It's the, uh, the Kuchi Katana. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> Greenwood, have a great night. Rest well, stay safe. And we will, uh, we will hopefully catch you very soon. At least over in Josh's stream, that would be wonderful. Hopefully we get the opportunity. Or if we see you back here, that's just as great. All right, so back across the bridge, we've got the two people up at the top and then the other sword guys. So I'm going to see if I can, like, bring them back up that ledge and then maybe just fight them. I appreciate the de dedication to the weapon's native language. <laughs> There's no K in that weapon name? I don't know what you mean. What do you, what do you mean? Kuchi Katana. It's right down there. You guys can see it. Kuchi Katana. Here, sound it out with me. Kuchi Katana. Kuchi Katana. Plus eight. It's a very well forged Kuchi Katana. There's. What do you mean there's no K? The plus eight is silent. Oh, gotcha. Okay, all right. That, see, now that makes a whole lot of sense. Regionally, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not an expert, you know, and I'm not a linguistics master or anything. That's not. I didn't go to school for that. I'm a math major. Um, I'm definitely not an English major or anything like that. You know, language major, linguistics major. I just do numbers, you know? So, like, the plus eight, like, I get the value behind that, that, like, how large that is and as, as an integer, how beneficial that can be. But I definitely don't get the pronunciation, you know, and how it, how it, how it correlates to the other words in that. So I, pr I appreciate that. It's very good learning. Yes, yeah, yeah. So I actually, I went to school for video game design. Um, I went to Full Sail University um, to learn how to make and write games um, as well as code. I am not a good coder. 
So if anyone ever tells you, like, I'm really good at that, don't believe them. I'm terrible. I'm just, I'm awful. I'm not a code monkey. I'll never be a code monkey. I'm really bad at it. Um, however, I very, very much so enjoyed my time in the process of learning and understanding the value behind what makes a great game, what defines a great game, and how we can learn from those experiences in gaming. And I loved it. I loved every minute of it. Is that a doorway? No, that's not a doorway. Okay. Um, I loved every minute of it. And I, would, I, I wouldn't I would say that I wasted my time or did anything there, even though I'm not within, you know, the gaming career. I'm not, I don't have a career in gaming. I mean, I guess I kind of have a great career in gaming. What's a great game? Man. So, like... When, when we look at, like, prime examples, it's pretty interesting, because, you know, if you look at... Wow. I'm really screwing this up right now. Almost messed that up. I'm going to have to learn a little bit of that combat stuff. So um, I, if you're looking at prime examples of what makes an excellent game, um, I would I would probably look to something like Fez. Fez is a really, really great title um, that helps us to, to learn more about not only the gaming space, but it, it balances a little bit of that world between luck and skill. Um, it, it evokes a lot of emotional response to our history in gaming. Um, it's It's... Just a great game all around. Uh, I would say Bastion's another really, really great game. Um, the Messenger was a great title. Final Fantasy VII, like there's a little bit of luck, a little bit of balance there um, in terms of, you know, what defines a really, really great game. But I think, again, this is just personal opinion. I think, I think having a connection to a title and something that teaches us how to be more human puts us into a world of emotion and immerses us in that environment, I think that that's something that makes a great game because it also helps us to escape reality while it's showing the reflection of our own existence. And so, like, I know that's probably a little, like, deep, but um, Final Fantasy does a great job of, of, of doing that for us, you know, as gamers. And so I really appreciate when titles can go that kind of, like, extra mile. Um, oh! Almost got me. You almost, no, that was good. You almost got me. But truly what defines a great game is a balance between skill and uh, and luck. And so technically, if you want to break it down, chess is a terrible game by definition. Because it's a game of all skill. There's no luck involved. Zero. And a game like Monopoly is the exact opposite. It's all luck and almost no skill. The game is defined within the first couple turns depending on the roll of the dice. And so that also is technically a terrible game. You should have a good balance between both worlds that some elements of the game should be without or outside of the ability of the player to control and some of the elements should be within the ability of the, the uh, player to control. And that it creates a level of balance and adversity competition that helps us to, to, to grow. It can create things like patience. Um, prime example. It can create a level of understanding about ourselves as well as the title. There's just so much that you can learn from gaming. And that's another reason why I got into this in the first place is because you know, we can do so much for ourselves and so much for others just within this space of gaming and the realm of gaming that it makes it just a beautiful, a beautiful thing. Some say Dark Souls is too, uh, too hard and therefore not a good game. I, I don't think that the challenge of a game is what makes it good or not good. I mean, if you look at, if you look at um, some of the cultural influences, like let's say, for example, you look at Japanese gaming, right? Like look at uh, Ikaruga, right? Like, that game is maniacal. Maniacal. In comparison to this, get out of here. And and to your point, Antoine, Baldur's Gate is another game, to me, emotionally, that is phenomenal. 
phenomenal. The, the, the level of, of diversity at which you can play that game and the balance between skill and luck, player knowledge, player immersion. It's just like, it's one of the epitomes of great RPG gaming that I don't think will ever, ever be brought back down from its pedestal that it exists in. And I think it's a hidden gem within the world of gaming. I think most people just would never expect it to be what it is. And it's always going to have a special place in my heart. That's for sure. It's a great game. Sekiro got game of the year, right? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if it did, to be honest. I really don't know. Um, but like, I understand why everyone loves these games. So I believe it. Wow. Wow. Are you firing lances at me? Are you serious? Lances. Chaos D85. Thank you for the good luck. I appreciate it. This is this is the most ominous note that I feel like I have seen thus far. I can't take this. This is this is motivating to me right now. <laughs> Sprint up, break right. Oh, and it's on a ledge. That's rough. That is rough. I believe you, Flander. Do they ever run out of ammunition? Like, I would assume that the idea is that you want to close the gap as much as possible, but then I have the guy firing at me from... firing at me from behind but also the one that's firing at me in, in, in front. Like how the... F I don't think that that's accurate, by the way. I think, I think that even sometimes the developer is so disappointed in their game, so disappointed in their game that they in fact don't even like it. Some of the developers know that like I was paid to make this and so I'm not interested in the game. I'm not interested in my work. I was just like, this is a money, this is a money sink to me. Like someone offered me money in order to make this title. I accepted, I took the cash and I'm not happy with the result. Yeah, you hope to get between them shots. The guy on the right will pull out a sword if you get the timing with luck, wow. So, all right. I mean, I got, I got to go through it. And there's no other way around it. Like you can't, you can't get an arrow attack off or anything. You can roll through the air on a ledge. You guys ask too much of me. I can see my corpse off there in the distance. Can you guys see that? It's like right over there. That little blue, that reminder of my failure. I'm sure if I did a little digging 2020, I, I bet I could find you a game that no one has really proud of. I'm, I'm sure I can probably find you a couple that no one is like, actually, you know what? This is a pretty solid title. Just if I'm being honest, there are games that have to exist out there and just because of possibility, like just the same as that there could be a perfect game. There could be a completely dead game. Like no one wants anything to do with it. It's just that bad. You must take off all your armor. But then like if I get one if I get one damage or one attack that gets on me, I might survive it. Oh, I don't like this. Not like this. Not like this. All right, so we're going to work like Flander Jam had suggested. Go past the initial combat. Let me pull this person. Come on up. Come on up. Let's fight. Come on. Oh, I told... 
Flander, you son of a bitch! You lying son of a bitch! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! You can run past all of these nerds? Apparently not! He did follow me! Flander Jam! Flander Jam! How dare- No, this isn't the remastered. This is the normal one. They can't follow you onto the ledge? Ah! Get out of my way! Get out of my- They might not be able to follow me onto the ledge, but they can sure throw electric arrow bolts at me. Like, come on. All right, up we go, up we go. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Ba ba bam ba ba bam. Ba ba bam ba ba bam. Ba ba bam ba ba bam ba 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 ba. Ba na ba na ba na ba ba. Ba na ba na ba na ba ba. I'm not prepared for this. I'm not prepared for this. I'm not prepared for this. I... How, 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 how? Yeah, he fell off after I died. After I died, parrying normally makes him fall. Chicken finger. No sauce, unbreaded, unfried, just complete waste of time. No flavor, no seasoning, just all waste. This person, I've got a hair in my eye. Get out of here. You can parry and repost, and the kickback will knock him off the eye. I don't know if I'm prepared for that. I don't know how prepared. I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared for this. I know you guys have faith in me, and I just want to say thank you, but still, I don't feel prepared for this. I don't feel adequate for this situation. Oh no! I listen. I it doesn't. It. I don't. I don't take negativity to heart. I'm too positive of a person. If I'm just being, if I'm just being honest, like I think Antoine's probably the only person who's seen me at like the peak of negativity, and it's usually when I'm solo queuing in Apex. I am, I do not handle that well. If I'm just being 100% transparent here, I don't, I definitely don't handle that well. You can block his sword, and sometimes I'm coming out as dead. Wait, what? No, I, d I don't. I don't. Th Whoa, I almost fell there. I almost fell a little bit. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So run past everything. Go down the ramp. Go back up the ledge. And then just, you know, hope for the best. Is there like a, a campfire after this? Or do I have to do like another rotational run? Man, so you've seen... You've seen... You're supposed to bait him and parry. Then in theory, he falls off. If the other one doesn't shoot you or you make it that far at all. I'm not afraid to admit that... That... That is cheese. The archers. Yeah, yeah. I know. Get good. Blah, blah. There's a fire just past it. Someone harpooned you? Uh-oh. I'm sorry, Crimpy Shark. Are you playing Sea of Thieves? Oh, come on. I, I jumped right over that. Literally right over. That was a big get wreck on me.
Stop, stop, stop. Okay, you guys are being very rude right now. Extremely rude. Inadequately rude. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. You effed up, bro. You effed up. 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 I don't even care. You don't I don't even care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You effed up. 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 Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Someone tell me where do I go? Left door. Left door. Left door. Get out of my way. Open up. Open up. Left door. Left door. Hit that? I thought I did. I thought I thought I did. I thought I did. I don't know. I thought I did. I thought I did. All right. Just, you know. What did I what did I do to deserve this? What did I do? What 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 karmic action had I completed to to get me to this point? So rude. So rude. Excuse me. Um, you can do it. The bonfire used to be very popular invading spot, denying players of that bonfire. Just try one more time. Well, no, no, no. I'm going to keep on trying. Listen, I mean, we did it once. We can do it again. I just don't like that, like, I got there and then I forgot, which I've done before. I, I don't know why, like, if I hit the button, I, I guess, like, because not everyone wants to reset. Like, sometimes you just want to light the fire. We didn't light the fire. We only started fires for everyone who go there. We didn't start the fire. Whatever. 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 It's fine. It's fine. It's, everything's going to be fine. We're going to be just fine. Flander Jam. Flander Jam, you were supposed to back me up, bro. This is like pre-wipe interaction. You know? You're supposed to back me up, Jam. You're supposed to jam my Flander. All right, come on, 
Come on, don't you dare. Don't you dare do the thing that you did to me last time. Don't you dare. I'm trying to have a good day right now. Oh, come on. I was past you. Hey! 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 You guys need to stop that. Just You just stop that. Son of a bitch, you piece of shit. You absolute shit dick. You shit dick! You piece of crap! You absolute garbage entity! You chode! You've denied me of pleasure for too long! Got him! <laughs> oh, all right, I feel better. Feel better. Now someone was like, now the real pain begins. Hey, is this our buddy? So smooth, smooth summoning? Is this person like they're they're like hyped up about this? They're like really excited. What is this? What? You made you made it. You made it. Why are they making messages that say I can't take this? All right, let's go in this door. Hello? I'm here to clean your house. I don't know about cleaning your house though. I don't I don't even know what you're talking about, Crimpy Shark. Wow. Can you not, can you not backstab them? Like, I feel like I, I should have been able to backstab them. I feel like. I, f I feel like. You can. All right, I guess. What was I saying? What was I what was I saying? Did I say something about backstabbing? Did I say that? Was that me? Got him. It's a fireplace you can go you can go in? Wait, what? I can go in this fireplace? No, I can't go in there. I don't think it's this fireplace. You can and parry. Uh, Sifa, hello, by the way. Welcome. Happy to have you here. Or Sifa. I, I apologize if I'm... Whoa. I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. Stop. 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 You stop, stop, stop. The audacity of some of these knights, let me tell you. No lock on, I don't need it. I don't need, I work better without it. Oh, that looks like something I can go in. Hello? Acting King, I actually just got the BK shield and I'm super happy. I, I don't think that I've, I don't think that I've received it. I may have, I'm not sure. Maybe I, maybe I have. Hello? 
Hello? Hello? This is ominous. This is really ominous. That's some Shep, I think. Got him! Got him! Okay. He just wants to hug you? Well, the Mimic does not get a chance. Like, uh, Mimics are one of the greatest, most terrifying things that you'll ever know in the entire world of RPG. And, and, um, and Illithids. Dude, Illithids? Uh-uh. Mm-mm. -uh. You don't, you don't screw with those things. You just don't. The Silver Night Shield is pretty good as well. Uh, not a problem, Crimpy Shark. We're gonna be here. We'll be, we'll be hanging around. Best shield in the game? Whoa, wait, wait, the, uh, the, the BK? Put the weapon on you just got and the armor? Wait, wait, why, why do I want to put that on? Isn't that gonna increase my, like, um, my, uh, my load build or whatever? Like, to the point where, I, like, I won't even be able to run it? Because, like, I have a massive issue right now with... Just to ch just to check it out, just to check it out. Holy crap, that is heavy. That is really heavy. Holy crap, I'm thick. I am thick. Yeah, I can't I can't run that. That's way too heavy. All right, let's go back to, I think, what did I have on? I had on the Gargoyle Helm, which was 15. I don't think there's anything that's really better without massively increasing my weight build. Um, and then let's look through this for a second. I had the Hollow Soldier uh, armor on for the poise, but I don't know if there's anything that's... Wait, what's that? The Elite Knight armor? 11.7 over top of a 7.8. That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. Best armor in the game that I just got? Pump endurance problem solved. <laughs> just get good. Just get good and you won't have the issue, right? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate that. Acting, <laughs> Acting King. Thanks for the laugh. Thank you. Uh, Baldur's Shield uh, just lacks the one stability against the BK Shield, and it's way lighter. Depends on what you're aiming for, I guess. So the Baldur Shield is almost as good as the BK Shield. Is that what we're suggesting? No, 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 no. Acting King, I'm just having a laugh. I'm, I'm having... Wow. Wow. All right. You rolling out that Japanese slang. All right. You gotta be careful there. Be, 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 <laughs> I know, I know my way around a book or two. I actually, I housed two Japanese foreign exchange students uh, during high school, um, and it's honestly the one of the most fun I've ever had. We we had a great experience housing housing two students, and um, I learned a lot. I like I like a lot of the Japanese culture and um it was it was a really really fun time. And like it was it was kind of an interesting thing because uh one of the students that was there um they had like the family that they were staying with kind of like started like just disowning them. It was weird, right? So imagine being a student staying with the family, like a family is sponsoring you to stay with them, giving you food, giving you water, giving you housing, giving you everything, giving you money on the side so that way you can afford it. And get this, they decided, hey, you can stay here at the house and we'll get food like sent to you or whatever. Or you can walk up to the store because it's not that far, which it was pretty far. You can you can get stuff taken care of and we'll make sure that someone's taking care of you and getting you groceries and whatever. And we're going to leave the country for a month and a half. You're going to be on your own. You want to talk about a welcoming experience for a person who's jumping into a world that they don't even know. 
I was like, listen, you can just come and stay with us. And they just stayed with us for like the rest of the time. I felt terrible. That like they think that, oh, because we're not we're not having like a really good conversation and, you know, they're really reserved and we're just not that way. Like we're really out and o open and social and outgoing people like, oh, if they're not like us, then we don't want to deal with that. They just basically disowned him and said, like, no, 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 yeah, you don't you don't have to stay with us. We're just going to go off to a different country and we can't bring you along with us because we can't afford that. So good luck. Like, are you kidding me? So he ended up staying with us the entire time. And like, I had a blast. We ended up being tennis partners. And like, he introduced me to like manga and a whole bunch of other stuff. And we just had a really good time. We would take him to the movies and stuff. Like he just, he was a great person. We still talk. It's a great person. And like his first, his first adventure into American culture is like, D d disownment immediately it was so aggravating and so so diminishing to to watch that happen to a human just like another human being that's just terrible terrible i don't know i don't know i'm sorry to bring down the mood that sort of is america yeah well i'm glad that there's other people out there who who try and do something and i'm i'm, I'm, I'm sorry i'm not trying to like you know virtue signal but like it's just sad that that's part of, um, you know, housing foreign exchange students is that that's something that other people might have to deal with at, at, at some point, like people who just don't don't genuinely care. They're just there because, you know, they want to make themselves feel better or look better, you know, whatever it is, whatever their motivation is. Whoa. What the hell is that? Why is that one? Why is that one like blue and the other ones are all just like grayed out? Is that like it's summoned off the, oh no, it's probably just poor lighting. Okay, okay, that's, that's whatever, it's fine. Luckily, that is not all of the USA, absolutely. I would, oh, hi, how are you doing? See you later. Have, have a good coffee, enjoy your day. Have a great day, have a, just a swimmingly awesome day. I hope you have a great day. Enjoy. Yeah, it just sucks that people do have to deal with it, you know? It's like a, a lack of humanity out there, I don't know. Oh, I get it. It's a bed thing. It's a it's a bed thing. I don't blame USA. It's kind of bad trend growing right now. Well, you you should blame the person, right? Like it's not the country. I mean, yeah, you can you can have some involvement with cultural influences, but it's still the people that end up making the decisions. You know, at the end of the day, it's it's how a person handles an an interaction that makes them, you know, different. You can rather choose to, you know, make better choices or you don't. And that's where it ends. Oh, come on. That was BS. Woo! With a sliver, a sliver of HP, he comes back from the ropes to take down that BK to the point of no return. Puts him down to the ground and walks away, swinging for the next night in line to take down the chosen one. I'm ready for it. That was easily one HP, easy, easy. Bro, that was a moment in time. That was, that was a dream waiting to happen. That's a lot of, that's a lot of nights. Now do that with fists, wow, wow. Just ruin my dreams, why don't you?
Come on, 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 come on. Oh, come on, that was behind him. What? These are... These are so far behind, it's outrageous. Silver Knights take some getting used to, but they get easier when you start to parry them or stagger them with the Zweihanda. That works too. Backstab King here. <laughs> Wait, do you guys know each other? Or are you saying like Acting King, you're saying you're, you're the Backstab King. And that like that's where you found success in this section. Should I go down here? Am I supposed to go down here? Oh, hey! It's my Vidalia, bro! How's it going? How's your flavor? Delicious. Delicious. That's it. That's what you give me. That's what I can work with is, hmm, hmm, whatever can be done. Onion bro, best bro? I don't know, have you met garlic bro? Garlic bros. Oh, that is cruel. That is, cr I knew I heard something. I knew you were in there just getting sneaky, just real POS work. Stay on the ground where you belong. Who the F is garlic, bro? Garlic, bro. Garlic, bro? You know, garlic, bro. It's like, it's like the twin brother of onion, bro. They're in the same family. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Thank you for ever, whoever got that joke. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you for investing. Haven't found him yet. I guess you got me. Hey. Wait, I should, you know what? The mask of the child, the good headpiece. That sounds like I'm some sort of psychotic killer. You know, I probably haven't insulted this person like I'm in a COD lobby and that's why I can't get them to come over here. Like I should tell him I banged his mom or something like that. Got him. Got him. Stay on the floor where you belong. You're next, buddy. You know what? I'm going to have a drink while you're down on the ground. Give you a little chance to recover. Give me that. The child mask is good. I don't know. Is it like, should I, should I level it? Yes, I did fight pinwheel. I did. Um, I, I, everyone was memeing on me, trolling on me that like, it was the hardest boss in the world. Get ready for the, the worst boss. You're, you're going to get wrecked. Like blah, 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 blah. And then of course, like I came out the other side, like this is fine. I was, I was pretty shocked. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay. Rude much. Go back and talk to Onion, bro? Oh, okay. All right, it's fine. 
I will. Don't at me. What, what did what did what did he give me? Small increase of HP. That seems so worthless. So right now, what I'm using is I'm sure everyone knows like just by looking at it because you guys are all fantastic at this and I'm I'm nowhere. Ogres are like onions, remember? So what you're saying is Ghost Recon, by the way. Hello. You're saying the next time I come back to this, then they're going to have something new for me because it works like layers? Is that what you're That's what you're getting at. So, like, every layer that I get closer, then the more flavorful our relationship. It's a quest line? Why don't people just tell me I'm on a quest line? What happened to old-fashioned RPG-style tactics where, like, hey, I need you to go fetch this for me or go kill X or Y so at least I know that I'm doing something? No, I just like Shrek. Oh, okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I mean, everyone else is saying it's like a quest line, though, so it, is, it, is it? Is it just me living my best life? Like, what? Okay, so let me go back up to the top of the tower. Because there's the one knight that's up at the top up here. Jeez. Shooting at me through the wall because that is Dark Souls. That's not Dark Souls, that's Skyrim. Gotcha. What? Hey, hey. 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 You stop that. Hey. 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 What did I tell you? I said, stop. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. Don't make me do this. You brought this upon yourself. I take your souls willingly for enjoyment, pleasure, sustenance, and fine leveling. Like a sweet wine. Mm. That's exactly what I needed. Ghost Recon Gaming, thank you so much for the follow. Greatly appreciate it. Welcome to the vaults, and thank you for becoming a vault roller. Happy to have you here. How are you today? What is this? Okay, there's a knight down there. Is there another one? Hello? Shrek 2 is the best Shrek movie, in my opinion. I don't have an opinion, personally. I guess I... Whoop! Progress side mission, you have to exhaust an NPC's dialogue, then they'll move to a new location, but they don't tell you where. It's tough. You basically have to stalk NPCs in the game to get anything done. Wow, talk about toxic relationships. The only way that you can succeed is if you stalk them. What are we teaching the young kids of this generation? Terrible. Stalk someone and you'll get a reward. That's that's the life lesson here. Antoine, can we write a letter? Can we write a strongly worded letter to FromSoft? <laughs> Is that something we're allowed to do? I feel like I'm missing a, a bonfire or something. Do I go up or down? Go back? Um, good point. <laughs> I mean, that's basically what people do through social media these days, right? Ugh. Ugh. What example are we setting? Into the right room? To the right room? You want me to go to the right- this guy to unlock a shortcut. That thing. You want me to go in there? You want to talk about setting examples. That's where you want me to go in Tropic Effect. My other right. So my left? <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. We fight one-on-one -on -one here. We fight mano a mano. We fight the premium. Whoa, nice swipe, bro. You swipe right for sure. I swipe left. 
How am I not getting this backstab in? What am I doing wrong here? What? This just isn't right. There we go, there we go. That's what I was looking for. You next. Run and opal the door down there when they are dead. Wait, wait, what? TBF, it's hard to give directions when the chat delay and all the running. No, I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be mad or anything like that. I'm just making jokes. Just cracking jokes. Just cracking on. Come on over. Give us a nice little nice little breathing space. What? There we go. There we go. That's what I needed. It's exactly what I needed. All right, come up behind him and swipe. Done. And this and this. Okay, all clear on chests. Open. Open. Pillage. Pillage. Silver knight armor? Hello. Did you find Havel's stuff? I believe I did, Crossfaith. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. That's the one that's on the other side, right? Like you go through the, um, you go through the, uh, the fire, the, the, the fireplace, and then you go through the, like, the little secret door that you have to slash through, and then you come out the other side. Well, Nossian, you know I have captions. Are they, wait, have you ever had that where, like, you go in and they're not working? I mean, you know, you know I have captions. You were just here yesterday. We had the conversation of P2P and everything. I hope you remember. Okay, so yeah, I did find it. It was in the spoopy basement with the mimic. Gotcha, gotcha. The stair skip is wonderful. I don't know anything about the stair jump skip. I know I know not of this jump or skip and or stair. So, I basically, all I have to do then is go from there into this door and then up. Now go back through the shortcut. I say that as a sense, uh, a statement of them working and appreciation of the... Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, like, if they're functioning, no matter what you say that, which I'm sorry about last night. Obviously, we ended up rating okay, and she was doing a music stream. You know, she really, really enjoys doing those music streams and things like that, and um, I've been enjoying them, just vibing to them at the end of the night, like, you know, after I'm done streaming and things like that, and she's been doing them on, on weekends. And so I could see how that might be detrimental you know, with you coming in along with the raid to her stream and then not seeing as much of an effect as, um, say, a person without any conditions or any conditional effects or, um, you know, more, more I guess, in involved interaction through the necessity of, of like, I guess what would be considered 100% level hearing. Like, I, I, I don't know. It did feel good, though. So... Just to understand, so you have a diminished value of hearing to the point where you still, you I would assume you can still feel the bass. Do you, do you, are you like completely void of hearing or is it like just really, really diminished? Like I'm trying to be respectful. You know, I don't know. I don't know all the verbiage. I'm just going to be honest. I'm, I'm still learning all of that. Snorlax and Pikachu time soon. Oh, great. That's a boss. That's a boss for sure. Basically, you unequip everything, then jump over the rail and land there by the door. You skip all the silver knights and running around. Wow. That sounds wild. You don't need to unequip all to do the easy stair skip jump. Chance? What is a chance ahead? Chance ahead? The hell does that mean? Wait, can I go out on that ledge? Or is that just like... Wait, what is that? Do you go out there and then, like, drop back down? Wait, what the hell is this? Do I want to go out there? Or should I wait to do that? Do it? Wait? You can. That is the way to get to the Dragon Slayer bow. Go to my favorite boss now, please. Well, we're, we're going to progress through normally. But you have to drop down carefully, though. So, wait, wait, wait. What are we, what, what are we waiting for? Cross faith. Am I supposed to progress like first? Open the big door? Wait, open what big door? Open what what big door? I don't see one. What are we talking about? Is it excuse me, is it over here? 
Watch me, like, enter a boss fight. Down there? The big door in the hall? Wait, what? What big door? Keep, keep, keep going down? Oh my gosh. All right, all right, hold on. Don't drop bad. You want the bow, then window. Down the stairs, you will see, okay? So we're gonna go down the stairs. Just casually make my way. Okay, so everyone's kind of got the same idea about the stairs. So go down the stairs. Okay, is this, this is a normal blacksmith, yeah? Forge your weapon. You forged weapon on me? Sure. You forged weapon on me. Back. Reinforce wep? Ooh, I can bring that Coochie Katana up to level nine. I'm about to get that level 10 Coochie Katana. Hell yee. Uh, you will you will get it. I have a form of ataxia that affects central auditory processing. Left ear is completely non-functional, and right ear can hear tones and loudness, but I cannot hear words at all. Some exceptions do apply, but have a few frequencies that I cannot hear at all, and some that hurt a lot. Well, I hope in listening to the music last night, you did not have any situations that had warranted a negative response or any level of pain for you. And I hope, I hope you at least enjoyed yourself. I'm sorry, obviously, with it just being musically driven, they don't have, or an, a user probably wouldn't have as much necessity to run um, closed captions. And I know how important that is to you. I know that's something that you've looked for and that you do talk about. But, um, you know, behind him is the ring. Oh, there's a chest back there. Forge, I can. Strong am. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so let's see if I can just... Nope. Can I, like... Just, like... Can I, like, fall down from that? Maybe if I, like, do this? <laughs> I just broke your pots, bro! Your hammer is back... It's just... Everything is messed up. And you don't even care. I am literally the equivocal of Zelda running around your shop and destroying everything. And you're sitting there smacking away on your small little sword. Just hammering away at it. You're using your fingertips. Do you realize the metaphor right now? Like, did you bulk up for this? Are you overcompensating? Did you grow that much for this, for this purpose? So the people would think, never mind. Listen, you're not gonna talk to me. The other way around, go in the other side? How do I go in the, oh, I just just swoop right in. Wow. Creature of the no unknown, thank you so much for the follow. Greatly appreciate it. Welcome to the vaults and thank you for becoming a vault dweller. Happy to have you here. Cross Faith, thank you so much for following as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Behind him is the ring behind the blacksmith. Gotcha. He, hey, be nice to the giant. He works very hard. He, do he does work very hard. It's, it's evidential. Look at all of his work. And what's even greater is that he's doing this to no purpose, no avail. Like he's not doing this for anyone. He's only doing it because he's got a passion for this. I, I appreciate that, that we're, you know, that you find us compassionate. Everyone says I'm a wholesome streamer. I tell everyone that they're crazy. I'm just another person who's just trying to respect people for who they are and appreciate that there's humans on this planet other than myself. Why not take the time? Delicate tapping. That's what she said. It's all about the delicate tapping. All about it. <laughs> no, there is no problem because I used to be a DJ before deaf. Uh, I know how to modify sounds if I'm using sounds at all. There are times that I just won't use sounds. Sometimes I just make sound go to my watch so I can feel sounds too. That's cool. I didn't know that you could do that. Unless it's, I guess like the idea is that you're Bluetoothing the sound to it so that that way you can like you get the physical response. That's interesting. Um, I sometimes do that so I can understand when captions are a bit more wonky. Gotcha. Fair enough. Um, what should I do here?
Wait, what? I can get a lightning coochie katana? So you're you're telling me right now that I can turn my coochie katana into a coochie katana that stuns and has lightning effect. That's shocking. <laughs> I wouldn't do that, actually. Uh-oh. The giant sells hard to get Titanite too. Very useful. Oh, okay, gotcha. Hard to get Titanite. I get it. Do you still have the souls of Q, Q Log? Uh, maybe. Oh, the Chaos Blade! The Chaos Blade! Everyone's been telling me about this thing! And it's got the 300 bleed effect. So tell, tell me right now that this is what I'm, I'm supposed to be doing, right? This is what I'm supposed to turn it into. Everyone has been super excited and talking about this literally constantly up until this point. And now, now I have the potential to turn it into the Chaos Coochie Katana. So we want to do that. Right after I just upgraded it, I'm going to turn it into the, the Chaos Katana. Actually, you should wait until Strength 16. Whoops. Whoops. Big rip. So now I can't use it <laughs> because I don't I don't have what I need um, and the souls and the Titanite. No, 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 no. What I'm going to do is pop my souls and Tropic pop my souls back at. Um, is there is there another is there another thing around here, like another campfire that I can use so that that way I actually can use my weapon? Or can I open the door to the left? Open the door. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Just have to plan this out really well. And not, not fail. Not fail. Don't fail, Ham. Don't fail. Don't do what you're currently doing. Don't do that. You have to not fail. That was the objective. Do not fail. Okay, so now I can cut back, right? Out and to the left, shortcut. Two-hand that bad boy. Okay, well, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So if I go out, I should be able to go back across the bridge and then rest at that campfire, and then I've got the whole loop taken care of. Now I can go back up at any point that I want to, right? So, like, I might do that and then stop for the night. Because I've got to go pick up my dad from the airport in a little while. To get the Chaos Blade at its best, you need 10 soft humanities. So do I have to like, do I have to, do I have to, if I, if I would just pop those right now. What's the benefit? It hurts you when you attack? So me having... Me having the healing ring is beneficial because every kill that I get, I'm getting some of that HP back, so that's good. So I can stack a counter to the attacks that I'm dealing. But if I'm constantly losing HP for using it, should I, can I level it up like I do the other sword? Like just like my standard, my Kuchi Katana that I had, can I level that up in the same way? It's a good weapon. The most wonky captions that are out, and many say that it's completely unusable. I'm so used to it that the combination of my vibration watch, I can understand what captions say mostly, so it's kind of sad that some say that they won't use captions because it doesn't caption them right. I guess it's different when you live on captions all the time to learn to understand captions even when bad. I have to communicate with Indian and Polynesian people here, and it's a skill. Well, so the other thing, I think it's a, a matter of clarity and how a person vocalizes, how, how they articulate themselves. And I think that captions do have a little bit of a problem. And sometimes they struggle. You know, you can get some words in there, especially words that end up being nowhere near because a person speaks so quickly. And so... Um, loosely with language that it can create dilemmas and problems for people who might be using closed captioning. 
So I can understand where they're coming from. But it's a skill to develop by their own sense, just as much as it was for a skill to develop on your end. Um, having one soft humanity gets you the most benefit, but it scales to 10 and you can upgrade it, but requires demon titanite. So let, let me get this accurately. The more, um, while we're kind of like winding down a little bit, the more that I am using humanity in conjunction with the chaos blade, then the more damage it does, or what, what, what benefit do I have to using humanity with this weapon? No, 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 fun to watch. I, I think what, what Entropic Effect might be getting at mathematically is that let's say hypothetically, a person puts on humanities and uses humanities. The initial effect brings me from 0% to 50%, right? Or plus 20 physical damage, right? And then from there, 10, and then increasingly more. So technically, by percentage gained, the most effectual equipment gain comes from the first humanity and then scaling up to 10 soft humanities from there. So most directly speaking, the greatest value and benefit comes wow. from that first one, but you still get a benefit up to 10 soft humanities of value. Is that accurate? Spider, hello, by the way. How are you? Welcome. Unstoppable. All right. I just wanted to make sure I understood because that's the way that I viewed it is the moment you said that and 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 um, fun to watch said no, my brain just triggered and said, we're looking at initial value gained more than we are the overall value in, in whole, in total. Yes, yeah, we were talking about humanity scaling with the Chaos Blade. To get better than the Uchi Katana, um, you need to get past one humanity. So yeah, yeah, I need to have my, my, my greater drop rate in order to efficiently get better equipment than the Kuchi Katana and the Chaos Blade. I get it. Someone was saying what I should do is get to the point where I can dual wield the Iota and the the uh, the Kuchi Katana, which would now be my Chaos Blade. Um, Spider, are you doing okay? I'm glad to hear that. We uh, just for your your uh, point of interest, we made it through. Uh, how 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 did I do what? Oh, the lights, very very carefully. Uh, I got some streamers who actually want to try my beta test of using my AI for captions. I mean, I might be interested, depending. Um, they went wee woo, uh, but if you die and lose your souls in humanity, then you don't do good damage, and the Kuchi katana don't hurt when you strike. So it's the risk of the reward. So whoa 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 wait. If you get to 10 humanity, then the Chaos Blade does not do damage to you when you're attacking. Is that accurate? I'm already at maximum. So I cannot improve the quality of my weapon anymore. Is that accurate? Minus the humanity buff. I cannot do anything else physically to the weapon to buff that. Oh, so it's max damage if I'm at that point. I can take it to plus five. Okay, gotcha. So I can still improve the quality of the Chaos Blades. Hi, Hackworth. How are you? Um, Spider, uh, I'll get to the lights in just a second. I apologize. I, 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 I see the comment. Um, we made it to Anne Orlando. I made the loop through the cathedral and got the shortcut opened and then um, developed my blade into the Chaos Blade. So we've worked my way into Ann Orlando. Um, I'm feeling good about it right now. Obviously it's challenging. I had a bit of a struggle with the archers who shoot the uh, lances. I think I died, I wanna say two times and then made it up. I wanna say it could have been three. And one of them was really bad. Yeah, it was two times that I fell off. And then one time that I made it to the fire but didn't sit down, I only lit it. So then the guy came up behind me and backstabbed and I was just laughing about it, like, haha, he got me. And then realized the mistakes that I had made because I didn't actually sit down at the fire. I just let him kill me. Um, that was bad. Um, no, 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 not the, oh, the last boss that I have killed. Uh, the, 
the giant guy on the top of the tower. Whatever got me here. Festive Wolfie, hello, how are you? Yeah, the golem. Uh, Clam, Clamion? Clam, Clamion? Uh, I'm, I'm hope I'm saying that correctly. Welcome, happy to have you here in the community. Welcome to the vault. And thank you for becoming a dweller. Yeah, the Iron Golem was the last person that I had killed as an actual boss. I've killed a couple sub-bosses. I did summon Tarkus, yes. Um, Hackworth, thank you so much for the follow as well. Welcome to the vault. And thank you for becoming a dweller. Happy to have you. Um, in the conversation about the lights, uh, just because I know Spider had asked, uh, so you guys, we can see that we have lights back here in the background. Um, with the controls through... Um, through the uh, points or the channel points down at the bottom. Um, so like if you're in chat in the bottom left hand corner of the window, you can see caps. Um, they're like our vault logo with a little heart on it. Um, those caps can be used to change the colors of our lights as well as uh, create conditional effects here. Um, so you'll see all the lights will change to red. Uh, we are using DMX lighting with custom controls just for here. Um, we have created an array of different effects in order to create an immersive and fourth wall breaking experience for you guys to enjoy. When we're playing games like horror games, they have strobe effects. You can literally flash lights in my face. Um, I guarantee you this is one of the only places that you'll ever see this on the entirety of Twitch. There are a couple other people who do things that are very similar, but not quite like ours. So I just, especially with the speed, um, some people have all of the DMX controls and everything, but it's only on their end. Some people have the control that you can do, but it's like 20 second delay, 30 second delay. So we have a couple things that make us unique and that it's almost instant response time. Um, oh my gosh. But res regardless, um, to explain kind of what you had asked about Spider, we have put a lot technologically into creating a more immersive experience for the viewer to, to, to put that in short. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to brag for everyone else, and I'm sorry for, you know, like, you know, delaying the conversation about it, but I just, you know, I wanted to work that out, and anyone else who had any questions about it, you guys got your answer as well. Um, I wanted to say, too, that I'm probably going to be back on tomorrow. I'm likely going to close down tonight. I have to go pick my dad up from the airport, um, and I, I don't want to miss that because that's, you know, that's bad news bears. So uh, I was going to get off a little bit. I'm a little bit past what I expected. I was going for about three hours and we're about 3.30 right now. I'm um, a little shy. Uh, Acting King, thank you so much for the follow. Greatly appreciate that. Welcome to the vault and thank you for becoming a dweller as well. So many new faces. And I, I again, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I, I cannot thank the community enough, the Dark Souls community enough for for coming in and just making this just such an incredibly loving adventure and being just so respectful and so welcoming to me as a new person. Um, likely tomorrow, um, maybe between five to seven, five to eight, something like that. Bro, fun to watch. If you want to throw the party, you know the drill. Thank you so much for the 400 biddies. Greatly appreciate it. If you want to throw, throw a party, throw a dance, feel free. This is something else you guys can do. Anytime you cheer with a hundred biddies or more and then type party. Bringing the hype in. Thank you so much. Fun to watch games. Greatly appreciate the support. Thank you for throwing us a party to close out on the night. We're going to find someone beautiful to host out there. We've had so much love from people today bringing in raids and craziness, and it's just been simply outstanding. Um, If you would like to, I'm posting all my schedule stuff through Gilded. It's an application that's very, very similar to Discord. Of course, which we also have. 
If you guys would like to, don't feel obligated, but feel free to join, interact with me offline, as well as the rest of the community. Find people to play other games with, like Apex, Fortnite, COD, whatever it may be. And I use both those applications to interact with, with everyone, as well as, of course, coordinate for future streams, future events. I, I hope that you guys all have a great day as well. Um, If anyone has any suggestions for a raid, I'm open to them. Otherwise, otherwise I'm going to try and see who's online. And then we're going to bring the hype over to someone else out there that's fantastic. So that way we can continue to drive that exact same energy over to someone else and bless their day. Fun to watch. I'm happy to hear it. Have a great day as well. I'll probably be live. I know a couple people had asked. I'll probably be live tomorrow. Probably be live tomorrow around the same time, like 5 to 7, 5 to 8, something like that. Um, for some more action. And, and we'll we'll dive further into uh, on Orlando and see how far we can get. Um, they're getting offline. That sucks. Let's find someone new. I'm going to find someone new within the Dark Souls community. No, thank you. And Tropic Effect, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Um, let's find someone else within the Dark Souls community and bless someone else up on the day. Um, Dark Souls filter. What, you, what? Oh, I have to search it up there. Okay, there we go. Dark Souls. Um, Dark Souls the game. And then... Sure, let's sort by first playthrough. And let's see, let's see who we have on here. Um, wow, there aren't many people who have first playthrough. Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay, well, we're going to we're going to bless someone up on the day. Oh, this person, this person looks like they were just behind where I was. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Everyone that's here, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for the fantastic adventure through Dark Souls and continuing to help me out along the way. Thank you for the support. I greatly appreciate it. Have a great night. Stay safe, stay blessed, and have a great start to the week. We will see you all very soon. Peace.